Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to 
the second day. Just editing some stuff real quick. Uh, turning down the music volume. Because we're going to let it keep going as we play some Mark Knights. Uh, and the goals are a little bit bigger than I would have expected. So we're just going to hide these. I did make sure to pin a message for the uh, Twitch side of things, but I will make sure to do the same for uh, YouTube. So if I don't, I will, if I don't do it now, I will forget it almost immediately, guaranteed. So, let's take this, copy that, paste it into YouTube. Check out the switch. There we go. And then I just pin. There we go. Also, what what an amazing song to start off on. Um, we have a bunch of sanity to use. Question is, what should I use it on? <laughs> I could do my challenge. And just, just start doing my challenge for every event. Because I'm waiting to do this when I'm not doing a marathon stream. This will be done, though. How, how long do I have? Uh, I have until the end of this month, so I have plenty of time. And we'll also do a bit of DOS today, and we'll do some IS-4. We also have potions that I'll use today. Is there a module that I would want right now? Gavials isn't that amazing, right? I forgot I have her potential so high. Yeah, this isn't amazing. Maybe I should do Vanguard stuff. Vanguard stuff would help. I should, I should work on some more operators, honestly. I don't need guards, I, I have plenty of guards. I have plenty of guards for interlocking competition challenges. Gavio unit-wise or mod-wise, not amazing. Uh, no, no, uh, she herself is amazing. Her module is not that great. Unless you're, like, blocking a ton of enemies, which you won't do most of the time. But 
basically increases her attack and defense by 50% for each one. Naturu! Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I appreciate it. You know, uh, something that has just occurred to me. I might not have one of my things set up. Hold on. Give me a second. I might not have uh, certain things set up. Happy birthday if it is today. It is today. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome. Welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy your stay and I hope you enjoy the stream. I'm just checking something real quick to make sure certain things are set. Okay, I, I think I think I'm still good. I'm still good. Okay. Right. Uh, but yeah, th th uh, her, her module isn't the best, but... Uh, is your IS bingo contest today? I, I didn't enter the IS bingo. Uh, because you have to be a certain amount, like, into IS for. And I didn't get that far, and I also don't want to try and compete with other players that are speedrunning. I'm not a speedrunner. I, I like to do different things. For example, I've actually started doing what I would call the interlocking competition-like series. Basically, if you don't know what interlocking competition is, it's uh, an event that we had in Arknights for Palace, where uh, you you can only take an operator into a stage once out of all the stages. So what I've been doing, like I started with Jessica Alter's event and figured out everything for the normal stages and the EX stages without having uh, any duplicates used. But that that's a uh, like I I tried to do niche nights, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do something different. And interlocking competition runs is what I came up with. Cause I don't see very many people trying to do that. Of course, I ban certain operators like uh, Chen and Ling because they are OP as fuck. I also don't use Surter, because Surter. See, this is what I need to do. Like, I recently, uh, I recently upgraded Kira. 
because I was actually very low on casters. And as you can see, like my caster ends th this page. <laughs> So, like, if I brought a caster, I'd only be able to take, like, one per stage. Medics I'm fine with. I, I have the plenty. Sometimes you only need one per. Supporters. Honestly, I don't have a lot of supporters in general. I should level Angelina up just to level her up. Because, no, I already got that done. It, it's the module that needs it. What does your uh, modules do? Because you have two of them. Attack, speed, attack, and HP. Deals arts damage and slows for a short time. Uh, SP recovery when enemies are in range. Then allies gain attack speed, and allies within range gain another additional attack speed. That's pretty nice. Uh, attack steal arts and slow the enemy for moderate. Restores HP. Ooh. So I can either give more HP over time or more SP recovery and uh, more attack speed for allies. Uh, also, I will be right back. Uh, apparently, I'm being requested uh, by people in the house. So I'll be right back. I won't be long, hopefully.
见他。Sorry about that. That took a little longer than I expected. Basically, uh, just a bunch of taxes stuff. And me being an idiot is, again, as well. But... On the note of this stuff, I actually think I want this one. Two seven. What is two seven? Uh, does this have any drones? It does.
So we, we do this one, but we take Angelina. Take a Jessica because she's gonna be nice to have. Probably a Lapland. It's probably all we need, but I'm gonna take an Aya. take a Texas just in case because it says that I can take four other operators right Lusandru thank you for the follow welcome welcome I appreciate your arrival and I hope you enjoy your stay uh, the remaining units can only consist of four Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me that people are showing up to say happy birthday. <laughs> we got we got a lot planned for the rest of this uh Subathon. To be sure. Jessica will be fine. For now, she should be fine. I'm just hoping this dr drone decides to move to the to the right at this point. You're oh, it gives an even extra range. I forgot about that. Die, die, die. Angelina murdering everything. That's good too. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> That'll unlock that module uh, for Angelina. Angelina is so hot in that skin. Literally, like later she's sweating. <laughs> yeah, I, I really like the skin. I will never regret getting this skin for Angelina. Yoink! Oh, right, level. <laughs> there we go. Hacks, welcome! Thank you for the happy birthday. I appreciate it. And of course, we're gonna level this thing up all the way. Boom. Angelina deserves that. She, she was one of my first six stars. 
I should have done that a long time ago, to be honest, but I never really bothered with modules and M3-ing or M9-ing anyone until really uh, a lot longer, uh, like a lot longer into my uh, game, me playing the game. Uh, she indeed deserves it, yeah. We also gotta do, uh, that. Well, we still have a bit of sanity left, just not sure where to spend it. Th that's why I've been doing modules, because I didn't know where to spend my sanity. <laughs> I was like, why am I spending sanity? It's like, duh. It's because I want to, like, like, why am I doing modules? It's because I need to spend my sanity somehow. Uh, but who should get a module? Hell, even E2. What is her module again? I forgot what her module does. I know she has it. Three instances of physical damage to ground enemies in a small area. I wish this was better. <laughs> But it's not. One an ex I like. I always try to find an excuse to use Rosemontus because she's just fun to use. W. What's your module? Modules. My bad. Uh. More damage when stunned. Recover SP when defeating an enemy. Ignore defense. After remaining deployed against physical and arch dodge, less likely to be targeted. When no damage is taken, gradually increases to 20%, resetting over. Eh, I don't really like that. Maybe Dusk Module. Attack range expands. That's pretty good. Dusk or Freeling defeats an enemy, gains an attack of plus 2%, stacking up 21 times. So that's 42% increase on the attack, depending on how many enemies she kills. Reduces deployment cost. First attack after deployment will summon two at the target location and four surrounding tiles. Uh, freelings are stronger and restore SP to dust. Oh, minus eight cost in attacks. You know what? I I really like this one. I want to do this. Deploy your own dusk and only vanguards. Oh, I also need to get her trust up. Fuck. Of course, my trust with dusk isn't high enough. Oh, it's this one. Um, honestly, this shouldn't be too bad. It says only vanguards. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not. I'm not doing that. Uh, who needs trust? Inez needs trust. I'm gonna take flame tail and siege. I refuse to take Myrtle, so we'll take Fang. Uh, who else needs trust? <laughs> eh. uh, I haven't leveled anyone else, really. You know what? I'm going to take Reed, because I want to eventually build her. And then Dusk. Boom. <laughs> That's the team. <laughs> This is probably overkill, but you know, who cares? Um, that's fine.
put it right there. Then we put flame tail siege. And have some fun read. <laughs> It shouldn't be too hard. Ah, oh, poor, poor Reed is taking a beating over there. Honestly, the perfect time to use this ability because of this uh, archer over here. Oh, and this one too. Forgot about that one. Of course, it won't last forever, but it'll work for now. Use that to kill those. And watch his body start dropping. Oh, here goes Reed. <laughs> Reed's the only death. Let's go. Sure, you can save that lineup. Now, as much as I'd love to start that module, I cannot because I don't have the trust with her. Uh, sorry about that, Dusk. I entirely forgot. But hey, it's, uh, it's ready now. <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna need some of these soon because of how many of these I'm actually doing nowadays. I also need to make her level 60 just to uh, make sure I don't forget that at least. Oh yeah, Dusk is ready for a module once her trust is up. I want to work on a new caster, but the question is who should I work on? I could just do Rock Rock. Rock Rock is a pretty good option. I also have the skin for Mint, so I could do that. What do you guys think? Mint or Rock Rock? We got an AoE caster and a not so AoE caster. <laughs> hey Rykon, thank you for the happy birthday. Why not Lin? Because I'm not really interested in leveling up Lin. I could do Mostima. Mostima is a cool one. Right now it's Mostima, Mint, or Rock Rock in my opinion. Though if I really want uh, to do like IS stuff, I would probably do like a 5 or a 4 star. I just don't know how good these three are. I know Haze is decent. I don't know about Pudding. Pudding's a chain caster. Chain caster seems decent, and she's a mystic caster, which I'm pretty sure isn't the best. So I'm I, I'm actually debating on doing uh, Pudding here. Because I think my lineup lacks a chain caster. Well, I have Gray. No, he's a splash caster. Do I not have a chain caster at all? Built?
Yeah, Ash Ashton's also a chain caster. Lazy too, but Oh, you're a phalanx caster. I forgot Mint was a phalanx caster. I actually think I'm going to do pudding. Yeah, I I'm I'm going to level up pudding. You know, I I'll try to level up pudding. <laughs> Pudding is decent. I've been using your IS. That's good. I will try to level up pudding. Hey, Noodles Bowl. Welcome. I just think the NPC character medic is cute. Also, happy birthday. Thank you. NPC character medic. Oh, oh, the, the cat girl medic. Got it. I, I know who you're talking about now. My bad. But yeah, thank, thank you for the happy birthday, and welcome to the stream. Hope you enjoy your stay. Her outfit is very cute. Yes, I agree. Also, I can make some chips. Let's go. I had plenty of the sniper chips, apparently. I wonder if I can even get her to E2. Attacks jump between enemies up to four times. That seems pretty good. I like that. I am short one caster chip. Can I make that caster chip? Shit. <laughs> well. Sorry, Pudding, but you're stuck where you are. For now. But yeah, uh, that's another caster I'll be working on. What is the cost of chain casters? Yeah. About the same as AoE casters. <laughs> Should have expected as much. But I do have multiple uh, single targets already. Steward, Kira, Kyobi, Golden Glow, and Click. What is your module? 10% of target resistance and ignored. Deals additional arts damage to target equal to 50% of its defense. Percentage increase with repeated attacks up to 75%. Ooh. One SP when normal attacks hit an elite or a leader enemy. 15% attack and 14 uh 15% or 15 attack speed when there's no allies in four adjacent tile uh tiles. Hmm. I think I'd rather this one. I just want to say people who really underestimate Lin's S1. It's basically like Angelina's S3 but no limit on the amount of targeted enemies plus Lin is tankier. I mean, that's fair. It's just Lin's character is not someone who I like as much as Angelina. Because uh, th that's important too for me. RI6. Own KLV and defeat two shredders. CI? Ah, this one. 
Or R-I. My bad. R-I. So I need to bring my own KLB. Uh, we'll take Texas, Jessica. We gotta make sure not to deal too much damage. What's the map like again? These two... Uh... Uh, Sakurai? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce your name, I totally butchered it. Uh, but thank you for the happy birthday and welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, but, like... This seems like enough. But I should probably take is there drones I, sh I should i should ask myself that is there drones there's not drones who's the shredder you're the shredder got it i understand so i really just need stalling kelby queen one life yeah i i love KLB. She, she's the best doggo. Ooh, we should take Scotty. Help her deal some more damage. Who does not much damage, but survives a ton of hits? <laughs> no damage. Ton of tanky. Probably just more defenders. Holy? Holy what? What? What's happening? I'm confused. The differences to the game since uh, what first years I met? Oh, yeah. So many names I don't know. Korra is very tanky. She is tanky. You know, uh, you make a good point. She doesn't do a lot of damage. So much beautiful art, yeah. So, so, mu so much beautiful art. So much beautiful art. And, uh, if you're curious, the entire, uh, what we're listening to is all, is all Arknight's music. I have an entire playlist of Arknights music that is free to listen to and stream with. So what we're listening to is all is going to be Arknights this entire time. She's a five star finally? No, she's a six star. And she's a really good six star. <laughs> and she's probably my favorite character right now. And that's why she's my only M9 in the, in the game. I M3'd all her skills. But yeah, I, I could I could show you around Sakurai. Like there 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 is a lot that is new.
My journey ended after getting Neon and during KLB banner. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It does suck to hear, but there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, the shredders down here. Okay, I, I have to. I have to change this. Music is still lovely to listen to. Sure is. It always is. I always love listening to AK music. It, it's. It's actually what I rather listen to than most other music nowadays. But this time we put KLB this way. <laughs> and not be an idiot. Um, yeah. Put Saria there and uh, Core at the bottom. Stop that. <laughs> mm, that's fine, I guess. Need to break this. Activate that. Because it doesn't look like any shredders will come up top. Place you. And then you for some extra healing. Cool. That's one down. She needs to kill one more. But yeah, like you, 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 you left her uh, like around the uh, around the first year, while this game has been going on for four years now. And uh, we have story arc number two. Like, the first arc is already done. We're working on through arc two at the moment. We have a lot of events and a lot of a huge lore drops as well. Please die. Now he's dying slower, damn it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we also have many new permanent game modes. And uh, all of the permanent side stories. Jessica shoots as a vanguard, summons a shield. Uh, Jessica is basically Liskarm's uh, subclass. She's a sentinel defender. Yeah. Yeah, she's a defender. Just like Liskarm. I was working on KLB. There you are. Oh, they made them all more specific instead of just Defender now. Yes, there is a ton of subclasses. And sometimes they bring out new subclasses. Which uh, may be a hit or miss, depending on uh, what it is. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no, I'm missing two. Can I make two? Two. Two is all I need. I say two is all I need, but uh, now I need one of these. And that is over here, which I have enough of. Why did I leave the factory? Or workshop, my bad. There we go. Boom. Now KLB has her really dried bread. Still plenty of sand that you have no idea what to spend it on. Um, oh yeah, uh, on the topic of permanent game modes, IS2, IS3, IS4. Uh, if you remember KOB's Fungamist, that, that, that is what these are. Just with different mechanics and permanent. We're also getting another permanent game mode in the future, which is kind of like a survival mode. Uh, we also have, of course, a lot more of these uh, annihilation stages. Uh, we also have Station Security Service, which is for the modules, which I actually need to do at this point, because I'm starting to run out. Unless I decide not to do modules for a while, which might end up happening again. Um, there is a new beginner banner, which I can't show you, but it includes, like, all of the operators from like the first year of the game uh, are th this is this is the uh, first year operator banner no one ever wants to roll on this unless you there is a specific operator that you want but the beginner banner has like year two operators I think Also, Cubai. Cubai. Also, can I ask who your favorite five waifus are from the game? Ooh. You got spicy with the five instead of just saying favorite. Well, first of all, I'm going to do a single ten roll. Because oh, I'm hoping for Cubai, but I'm not heavy rolling on this banner. I'm only doing this for the guaranteed 5 star, basically, and the chance for a Cubai. I couldn't just do one. Who am I to force that evil on others? Ah, it's only a 5 star. Ah, it's wind chime too. Oh well. Uh, but favorite, uh, favorite five waifu or top five waifus. Uh, honestly, Jessica. Jessica is currently my favorite operator, and I'd say one of the waifus. Uh, Neon is of course one of the other ones. So Jessica and Neon are guaranteed to be one of uh, two of them. Trying to decide on the next three are going to be a little more difficult. Frostleaf. I know she absolutely sucks as an operator, but I really love Frostleaf.
uh, two others. They wouldn't be down here. Why am I? Why am I going down here if I won't be here? Her design is peak. Yes. Like, like what she did in the anime was also one of the reasons why I actually e would her. <laughs> like, they gave her her moment in the anime, and I loved it. She that was she deserved getting something. Uh, but two more, huh? There's too many waifus to choose from? Yes. I agree. Um, I'd like to say Texas. Texas is probably another one of them. So, one more, though. Death top for you. Nice. And for like a final option. Uh it would it would probably be Angelina or Lapland. Yeah, Rikon gets it, but yeah, Angelina or Lapland would be the the last one. I I wouldn't I wouldn't know which one to pick over which one. They're they're both amazing in their own right. Mostly because I've read Lapland's lore, so she actually shot up in the rankings since Il Sera Kusano. The event that she was in. Like, I read that entire event. Shiro Kamu. Hello to you too. Welcome, welcome. Hope you enjoy your stay. Happy birthday. Thank you. I appreciate it. I really do. I couldn't tell you what that emote is. <laughs> My appetite. Funny, funnily enough, uh, I was actually uh, prepared for that one. Uh, I do see that you did redeem a plank earlier, so I need to do the plank. That made me lag. Uh, I did uh, shift in my seat a bit, but yeah. Uh, got slapped with an ad. Yeah, sorry about that. I can't do anything about that. Uh, Gaviel, Scotty, Frostleaf, Grani, Kobe, Neon, Silence, Nightingale, and can you be used to get lost and remember so many lovely ones? Yes, there there is a lot of great... Uh, uh, There's a lot of great operators and waifus. <laughs> hey, you, you don't you don't have to push people into something. Don't worry about it. I I may be doing like a sub a thon in a way. Uh but also thank you for the sub uh, right on. Uh, on that note, I have forgotten to do something. Uh, so I'm glad you reminded me. But uh, even though it wasn't uh, exactly what you were expecting by the reminder. This, this timer exists and I need to reset it. <laughs> Uh, I gotta set it for 18, 18 hours, 18 minutes, because you, you subbed, so that added an hour, and I'd been streaming for an hour, so, so we're back to 18, 18 hours. Yes. I will play a gotcha of your choice for one hour. So whatever gotcha you want me to play, I will I will get ready to download 
and uh, set everything up from there. Just make sure it's TOS friendly. I lost my train of thought. Does Gacha include games like Ark, since technically they are the sense of death? Uh, Ark Knights is a Gacha game, yes. It's not technical. Ark Knights is a Gacha game. Because it has this. Like Genshin, Honkai, uh, PGR, uh, Star Rail. Damn it. <sighs> Fine, I will play Star Rail again. Why Star Rail? I'm trying to get out of the Hoyaverse uh, area. Truthfully, I want to see what they have for their coach. <laughs> That's it? I haven't touched Star Rail in ages. I also haven't touched Star Rail in ages. Uh, I do know that they have released like two more patches worth of story and a bunch of other things. Uh, None of which have characters that I actually wanted in the first place, but I'm actually I've, I've been trying to get out of the Hoyoverse franchise entirely. But for for the for the Sevathon and Donathon, I will do it. Don't worry, I will do it. <laughs> I touch Sarel every single day since. <laughs> Fair. Um, I got the main person I wanted, which was adorable Lightning Dragon Doctor. Lightning Dragon Doctor? I know... What? Bailu. Right, 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 right. Gotcha. I honestly forgot she existed. Purple hair, small cute food lover. Yep. I, I, I remember now, don't worry. Look, I know this is a terrible choice, but I'm doing it anyway. Can tame with food. I built a full mummy team and considered this a win. <laughs> Fair. I mean, if it works, it works. Uh, I actually need a blocker of some sort. Whoa. No, I have a blocker with frost leaf. I don't normally do this. Because I don't really like using J, but I, I will take J. Uh, let's see. Urgency op. I forgot what this one is. This is a combat. These two are not combat. So we can do strafe. Uh, actually, let's see what these maps are. That one's not too bad. 
This one's also not that bad. I don't think I'd mind playing either of these maps. This one honestly seems worse, though, but I kind of want to see what the emergency op is. We also have J, so I mean, that'll make things a lot easier. I'm getting that chest. Oh god. Lost two lives, but that's okay. That's just part of the shield. We, we lost a two objective shield, but that's okay. Still counts as a perfect. Uh, specialist. Well, it's free. Might as well. Hands of Moss. It's the same one, but emergency op, which I haven't done before, so this is going to be rough. Because I have no idea what I'm in for. Uh, I should probably do it like... Uh... This is probably the best spot. And as soon as Jay kills this, I retreat him. Because I need uh, Typhon. Is this really the only good spot? I guess so. J is new red. Uh, J is a merchant. So he takes your DP the longer he's out. He, he also has an unlimited duration skill that heals him for every attack he does. So, he's really strong as a 4-star, and especially strong when uh, doing I IS runs. Because he also counts as a fast redeploy. But if we're talking about the new red, we are talking about Yato Altar and Texas Altar. Both of which are insanely good. Yato Alter was a, the Monster Hunter collab uh, character, while uh, 
Texas altar was from her event, her limited event. I forgot this has unlimited duration on the second attack, or a second activation. The purple highlight hair picks I see with Texas? No? Maybe? Four stars arc three. More hope. Promote a guard. Or recruit a guard. As much as I'd love to just promote Frothleaf, this is like, I have so much hope, I should probably just grab a six star. <laughs> there, there's no reason for me not to at this point. So we're going to go with Gabiel. ingots but no uh the i don't know what you mean by purple highlight but maybe i just wasn't looking close enough this is texas altar too bad i would have dive into the fluff because it sounds funny oh yeah the uh the is4 it's more like a like more more of a blue but i like the more you like if you look at it in a way uh, it does look a little purple i think it What's the color? Like indigo? The 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 purple that is really close to a blue. <laughs> I don't remember what color that was. Violet. Thank you. But yeah, that that's Texas Alter. One of the strongest units in the game. Rogue Trader, what do we got here? Vanguard, Vanguard would be nice. What is Frozen Husk? Oper uh, melee operators gain attack speed for five seconds after taking damage. Huh. I wanna take that. And then we'll also take a Vanguard voucher and just, uh, I don't know, I really want a flame tail, so I'm gonna grab flame tail. Cannot stop me. And we'll set Gaviel on skill one so she can heal herself. Because I don't have a healer. Uh, I want the scout, so we're gonna go for that. Store life. I don't have any life to restore. This is also probably a terrible idea because choosing an operator to send out is probably a bad idea, so I'm just gonna take the hope. I haven't done this stage before, on emergency at least. Uh, great. Oh, they, there's only one direction to come from, but they can't directly attack. They they can't block except for one po like two points on the map. So I have to be choosy on where I put my operators. 
Uh, of course, Gaviel is probably going to be the one to take the uh, the bottom spot. I believe in Frostleaf. Yeah, she'll she'll do some extra damage around here. I do need to bring a Vanguard first, though. Put Gaviel here. Frost, Frostleaf will be on top of Gaviel. That is not what I meant. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, right here would be really good for her. And we'll add Jay here for some extra damage, too. He also heals a nearby friendly, so she, uh, Typhon can get healed from there. I'm really hoping Frostleaf gets uh, a Lord module that is like really good for her. Uh-oh. I might lose two lives here. Yeah, I can't stop those. I flame tail died a little too early. Uh, squad size limit, all friendly units get plus 2% attack. I'll take it. And a supporter. I could take Angelina. Wouldn't be a harm in taking Angelina, just to have some extra healing over time. Spinach. One second after their skill becomes active. Objective shield. I'd rather that. Ling looks cute. Yes, and funnily enough, she has two life 2D uh, skins. Uh, ooh, I can do this one. Live 2D skins when? Uh, the first one, if I can remember correctly, was either Phantom, the free Phantom skin, or... Neon's, uh... Oh, no, no. I think it was Neon's, uh, skin. But, uh, a lot of operators have live 2D skins now. It started with just the limited operators, and then it increased to, like, certain, uh, certain operators that people used a lot or liked a lot the more popular ones 
like uh Surter and Golden Glow. Surter and Golden Glow have live 2D skins. And I have both. How does your trait work again? Just attack speed. Oh, uh, you don't you don't heal yet. Yep. I have to promote you to get the healing portion. Also, I'm not excited for this. Oh yeah, Mjolnar will get one in the future as well. He was a very popular uh operator I want to get Typhon down first actually Oh shit. They do so much damage. Oh dear. Come on. Come on, Jay. You can survive. I I should I honestly should not have done this this uh this mission. But I did it anyway. Uh, it was a mistake. However, I am already here. <laughs> and Jay is taking all of my DP. Uh, this is likely a salute to this run, because this run is gone. Wave bye-bye. <laughs> I only deployed her four times. <laughs> Uh, I gotta do that again, but I continued to forget that I needed to plank for 15 seconds. Yeah, Typhon is cute. I'm glad I remembered that I needed to plank. <laughs> Let's try that again. We get a defender this time, by the way. I'm going to take La Pluma. And a Liskarn. Actually, probably should take a Gummy. Nah, I'm taking a Liskarn. Be 
beasts awaiting slaughter. Or hands of moss. I'd, I'd much rather this one. Also, uh, on the topic of Neon and Ling, they both are Sui siblings, as well as Dusk. And on that note, we also have Chung Yu, and Shu is coming in the future. So that is four... Uh, Sui siblings that will have been released. <laughs> and I'm excited for Shu. Uh, I'm actually very much waiting for Shu to release to actually even bother with rolling on banners. Because <laughs> I'm skipping the next limited. Five, you mean? See, the the fifth one is not an operator. Uh, dragon siblings? Yes, the dragon siblings. Neon, Dusk, Ling, Chung Yu. No, no, you're 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 right. There's five. I'm I'm an idiot. Don't worry. Blue Dragon in the Big City mission? Uh, are you talking about uh, Chen? Chen is not a Sui sibling. Sui siblings are the uh, dragon deities, basically. Yeah, uh, Neon, Dusk, uh, Ling, Chung Yu, and Shu. That is five dragon siblings, or what is known as Sui siblings. S U I. I'm taking Antolopsis. Still one of my favorite medics. I gotta be careful with this one. But yeah, the shoe shoe is one of the operators that I want over like any banner that will release for a while. Well, besides the Rainbow Six Siege uh, uh, Part Two, that's that's another one that I'll be rolling on. But that's after shoe. You know, I forgot it. I had some jelly beans.
I'm, I'm gonna have some jelly beans. Once I can get the bag open. Ooh, a free pith. We'll take it. Since we have no hope. We got that mission and this mission, which are both okay. Oh, the way to open the bag was on the other side. Uh, did I men did I mention I'm an idiot? Increase the challenge, learn through hardships. That is basically what IS is. Read Alter Consolo that stage with in five seconds with their S3. I believe it. However, I don't have Read Alter because I didn't roll for her. Whoops, I consumed a banning action by accident. Oh. Uh, what did you mean to do? Just type stuff, didn't think clicking on it would activate it. Oh, I see. I can give you uh, the points back. But if you want to use it, go ahead. Give me a second to open up Twitch real quick. Oh, actually. I think this is how I do it. Don't know what to make you do except solo Frostly. I give you your points back. It's a cloud bot. Are. 
I'll figure this out. I got this, don't worry. on the Twitch dashboard. Wait, can I do it from here? No, I have to actually open up Twitch. Don't worry, I got this. It's taking a little longer than expected. Thought it was much easier. Okay, come on. There, there has to be a way to do this. Is that it? Is that uh, yeah. Wait, hold on. Give points. No, 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 no. I gotta figure this out at some point. I am what you would call stubborn what do you mean that's an unrecognized command oh wait is it add wait hold on or is it slash add no, it's not slash add. It's just exclamation mark add. Add. Uh, hold on. Add points. S a k y r a i a i one. Ah, was it? Hey, that should work. I figured it out. I'm a mathematical genius. Even though it had nothing to do with math. I have done it.
proud of myself. We're gonna go encounter objective shield. Scout. Choose an op. See you around. Unwell. I don't remember what you guys do. Three or more block. First attack deal splash. Cool. Starting out with no DP. I gotta love that. Oh, wait. No, it's the civilians. No. I'm not excited for this one at all. This one's god awful. Come on, come on. Ah, uh, fucking course he goes through. Ah, uh, it's another. Finally, no more civilians. <laughs> Oh shit. That is not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to destroy that. That's bad. That is bad. That the this do be bad. I'm I might just be screwed. Hoping for the best. There goes another two. Lost five life there. I think that was uh, a lot of my objective shield though, so sh we should be fine. We still have one objective shield, so still counted as a perfect. Proof of longevity. Six max life. Oh, this is just better than this because this is just plus two and this one's plus six. I should also remember to use these. There we go. Now we'll get a shield guard on that mission, hopefully. Yeah. Shield guard and max HP. Now we just gotta get there. Oh, we also get the effects here. So we can do one of these missions. 
doesn't mean that they're good. Uh, I think I'd rather this one. Get him, Typhon. She got him. Now her skill's infinite. This mission went a lot better than I expected it to be. To go. Specialist or caster? Probably specialist. The only caster I want is a six star and I can't afford it. Hmm. Red it is. The altar of craving, or so close, close yet so far. Well, I can tell you this right now, I don't like either of these. Oh, God damn it, Fifth.
That is a lot of enemies. But not enough. Hey, Jackal. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for the happy birthday. I appreciate it. Shoot faster, Pith. Just a bit of Stalin. Uh, just a bit of Stalin. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, we're not killing him. Didn't have enough time to turn Typhon around. Supporter or specialist? Supporter is a... Some good options. Specialist also has some good options. We could go for an Angelina again. <laughs> I actually want an Angelina. Especially over Pith. I'm Altar of Craving. Of course. I dodge this one and get it again anyway. Lovely. Gotta love when that happens. It's like, game, I don't want to play this map. Well, too bad. Here's the map for you. I'm I I did make a mistake by the way. This is also a mistake, but I already made it. No, the pluma. Oh, Typhon's okay. Mm -hmm. She lives. For now. Still a 
terrible spot for her, but I still put her there anyway. Oh no. Ah, that th this guy's getting through no matter what. Guard or Defender? Oh, I didn't realize how many ho how much hope I had. No, I should have looked at my hope first. Why am I scouting? Give me the two hope. Which boss is this? Demon's Blade. Out of control Emperor's Blade. Simply not allowed to exist in this world, neither as a living person nor as a dominion. It will be hunted down by its comrades until it's completely wiped out wiped from this land. Ooh. I don't feel like I remember this boss. Oh wait, no, I, I do remember this boss. Never mind. I just had to look at the map. Fart cloud boss. <laughs> well, you're not wrong. I I cannot deny your claims that I, about it being a fart cloud boss. Well, it's not the worst location for the shield guard. There is worse. Is that close enough? Is that a good enough spot for her? I think it'll have to be. Yeah, that's the trouble. Ah, there we go. Decided to get closer. Yeah, he he is a two block. Well, I should have blocked that one too. Well, here comes the trouble. I think I lose here. Hmm. 
Unless I can keep all my operators alive. Honestly, I always forget about that right lane. So a shield guard there is perfect for me. Yeah, I think that's normally where he gets placed. However, I'm not worried about the shield guard. I'm worried about actually clearing this. If I can manage to kill at least one of them, I'll survive. However, if I can't kill either of these, I lose. What the fuck? Where did his health go? That's where it was. <laughs> I found out where the damage come, came from. Collectible. More HP or... Yes, that. Old Dartle. Wata. Elite Dispatch. Max out that Typhon. What are we listening to? Oh, it's Curtain Call. I'm, I'm skipping that one. Not one of my personal favorites. Uh, we can do another scout. Yeah. Random drink it. Hope in squad size. I will always take hope. And now we can dump this guy. I don't think I've done either of these. I have done this one. It's not like I want to do this one. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. We're going to do this one. Against my better judgment.
Oh, those things shoot. <coughs> Whoops. Still living. Barely. Barely living. Two HP. <laughs> Those drones are a nightmare to deal with on higher ascension levels. I believe it. They're already a pain. Even Reed can't heal through their damage or kill them in time. Oof. Yeah, I can see why that can suck. I forgot he could hit, hit her up there. Bonk. Yeah, basically.
having Typhon maxed out has uh, already been helping a lot. Specialist again? Oh, I could go Project Red, but I should probably go for something better. Um... These two are only, like, super good at E2, because they can hit Aerial. But E1, they can't hit Aerial at all. I don't have any other options though. I'll take Kieran. Clear collapse value. I forgot what collapse was. Oh, this. Listen to Typhon. So you actually have to have Typhon with you to be able to do this. That's crazy. Your group dares not try to t uh, dares not take a step as you watch the Sarkez girl pull out an arrow and draw a slash against the wall. Perhaps these are arts. As the well-born moss curls up as if burning, falling off in large chunks, the room brightens up. You and your companions gratefully sit down to rest and decide to believe that Typhon is always right. <laughs> Welcome to the Typhon is always right foundation. Full clear collapse value is really good. Oh yeah. It, wow, it even cleared the other two things. Holy crap. That is way too good. Six stars cost less. How how can you tell me how can you put that in front of my face and not expect me to choose it? I have five of these things. What the hell? I want the safe house. I think that is a monthly squad specific option because I haven't seen it before, but I've seen it when picking the Typhon monthly squad. Might be wrong though, I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know uh, what's on this stage. But I want to do it. This stage is so reminiscent of Lone Trail, but they added a twist on it where you can see underneath the ice instead of underneath the uh, the glass. Really cool. Because e each one of these platforms is a pillar. You can you can see that under the eyes. Really cool detail. Now that you mention it, it really does remind me of Lone Trail. Yeah, I mean, we can go uh, over and look at it right, real quick, too. Um, specifically this one. 
Yeah. You can see underneath the uh, the ship. And if there's something under, like, on that other side of the glass, you can see uh, part of the ship outside of the ship. This one too. It's a, it's a less noticeable on Lone Trail because they don't have like the pillars like uh, IS-4 does. They just have like walls on the outside. And then also like all of these like, it's much harder to tell on the earlier stages. But it is there. I think it, uh, yeah, it goes from CW7 to CW10 and then EX stages as well. Uh, I don't remember which EX stages. Yeah, because this one just has holes. You can't see any uh, glass there. This one's also hard to tell, but you can see some some walls. Can't really tell here. More wall. A lot more wall. But uh, for... For IS-4, it's the first time that they added, like, single pillars instead. Like, there, there probably is some walls back there but it's less notable than the elongated pillars underneath uh, the uh, places where you put ranged operators. I love how their stage designs have progressed over time. The stage art for the events get better and better. I agree. Yes, they have gotten so much better. I got Yata, that's right. On that note, let's do the stage. Enough Stalin. What braving nature is it? Zero. Or one. One of the two. I I am not that good at this. I wish I was. But I also don't have all the broken operators and I don't use all the broken operators, etc, etc. And some operators I just refuse to use at all. Because I'm insane.
Also, IS4 early stages are so charming to me since the tiles appear as though they are painted, drawn, all visible uh, paint brush strokes. Yeah, I can I can see that. I think it's a like a, a like a texture choice, like a drawing texture choice, I should say. No, Typhon. Shit. <laughs> Holy crap, these guys are strong. Oh. oh that's the end of that. <laughs> uh also, uh Den Wii U Killer, welcome. Glad to have you here. Hope you enjoy your stay, and yes, that is a big F. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't I don't do IS a lot. I don't I I barely do this off stream. If ever. It was monthly squad BN zero always. Yeah, that too. I still have yet to find this in the uh, in IS four, I think. Th this one was really cool though. I I like this one. Just like the artwork and uh the like how cool the lore could be behind this. This this one was cool too. I don't know what this is. All right, I didn't get any of this because, yeah, I I, I haven't cleared one so, or zero so I don't have one. Like I I I don't do this nearly as often as I should. Like. Hell, I, I haven't done all of um, Mizuki's either. And I've still only beaten exactly one boss in both of these. I've only gotten one ending. Water kettle! Free bubble. Vanguard and caster. Well, if I get a caster option, it has to be Golden Glow. Give me that L2D art. Mm. And then for Vanguard, Thing. Thing is always a good option.
beasts awaiting slaughter and ghosts of the resort uh, I have bubble but it's bubble enough Is bubble enough for this map? We're gonna we're gonna find out. <laughs> oh, things survived. <laughs> Thing is barely alive over there. I'm going to take a cruise. GG thing. Yup. Perfect time since GG's in the party. <laughs> Oh, that happened. <laughs> Holy crap, the destroying bubble. Well, there goes half my life and more. Ugh. How long have I been streaming? Only two and a half hours. Oof, yeah, it was a big oof. Um, I always go with the Podenko. If I don't have enough for a six star, I always go with Podenko. This map again. Like, pe people say that if uh, if you're choosing Padenko, then there's a problem. But the problem is, I don't have a medic. <laughs> so, if I get a supporter, 
I'm gonna choose Padenko, because I need the healer. <laughs> She's the only option I have that's cheap. Bonus incoming? What do you mean by bonus? I made a mistake. <laughs> Cruise, get off. There we go. Duck, bear, duck. Oh, right. But yeah, Padenko is basically my emergency healer. Like, normally I don't want to pick her, but if I have the option for a four-star supporter, I will pick her. Because she can heal. <laughs> Even though it's on a skill, she can heal. So it works. Then she can also deal damage. She, she's the opposite of a harm assist. <laughs> she deals damage first, then heals. Oh yeah, that bear is gone. Executor Ambusher and... Oh, now we get a healer. So now we can use Padenko as a silence. The good thing about Padenko. <laughs> like, once you get a healer, you can swap her skill. Uh, I always like Colapsos. Though I really should... I, I, I'm gonna go with the silence this time. Invest. Holy crap. <laughs> Silence and slow. And a bit of AoE too. Silence, slow, and AoE. Yeah, all enemies in the Spore Cloud are slowed silence and receive more arts damage. So she'll help make Golden Glow do more damage as well. So, technically a 4 in 1. I don't like this map. I really don't. Ooh, scout or combat. Which one's this one? Oh, yeah, no, not this one. Not my business, but here's a tip. Don't waste hope in vain or you'll be at risk and not recruit the core six stars. Yeah. I don't know. But I don't have most of the core six stars, so it doesn't really matter.
I don't like this one. Well, I don't. It's not like I don't like it. It's just not one of my favorites. So I'm skipping the silence. Two and one. S one healing. S two silence. Slow and AOE. What more would you want? E two. You're Pedenko today. <laughs> yeah, I love Pedenko. She she was one of the. Uh, First, one of the four stars that I built just because of I, uh, IS2 and IS3. Beans. Like one of one of the uh, like the biggest uh, six stars that I do not have is Mjolnir, and it's not that he isn't amazing. It's just I didn't want the character. <laughs> I bought a six star selector voucher just to recruit Mjolnir. Fair. Not gonna lie, the stun animation for that GG skin looks kind of goofy. Yes, it, it does look a little goofy, but it, it, I, I find it hilarious. So, uh, also, welcome to the stream, Snipes. Welcome, welcome. Ashring, yep. That is the current song. <laughs> Oh, uh, dance emote. Guardian Angel. Guardian Angel. Added Halo. You're my Guardian Angel. Um. I don't want to use Ling. But you know what? I'm gonna grab Ling because I haven't used her skin yet. This is the first time I've used Ling since I since getting this skin. <laughs> and I love both of her skins. More HP plus six SP. We'll take the HP. Change node to lost and found. Oh, get that after this floor. Uh, one node with vertical paths. Change node to emergency up. And recover to life after traversing. Austin found is a relic boom changer. Ah, I do remember that.
Guardian Angel and Kilo Guardian Angel. So we're gonna go from here to the safe house to this one. CC Ashring was the first event I saw where I first started playing the game. Even though I couldn't do any risk, I would just spend time in the lobby listening to the music. Yep. Welcome to Ark Knights. Uh, you have done what everybody has done. <laughs> Welcome to the crew. That's how this game got me. Gets a, gets a lot of us like that, honestly. Uh, I, for me, I actually started playing this game uh, like as soon as it released. Let's get this to four. Safe house. Oh my god. I'd much rather Golden Glow than Ling. Because I know that skill is M3. <laughs> And that skill is going to be really good for this stage. You know who else is going to be really good for this stage? Ling. With this one. But yeah, I'm basically a day or week one player. And I have yet to miss an event. And I refuse to start now. Uh oh. Bubble having some issues over there. Can't do anything about it until Golden Glow gets her skill, though. I have enough life points to last a bit, though. There we go. Uh, speaking of events, are you keeping up with CN News? Have you seen the new event announced? I have seen the new event that was announced. I am not watching the PV until I finish chapter 13. <laughs> Which is not released yet. Because I don't want to be spoiled. Since that event is coming right after chapter 13 and p 
people have already been through probably all of it. I I do know the operators. I have not seen the PV. I've seen leaked photos or images. But I have no context. No context is the main point. I don't know what's happening and that's the best that that I can do for myself. Because I'm not able to uh like I I follow uh AKCN uh, the Twitter, uh, the one that posts like leaks and stuff like that. So it's really hard to ignore when things like that come out. So I can get excited, I just don't know context. I do know, however, that it's not actually a uh, the next episode like everyone was going was thinking that it would be. Instead, the it, instead it's a side story, kind of like Dark Knight's memoir, which is cool. I think that's cool. But during this month, I plan to read the entirety of chapter 11, or chapter 12. Because I haven't started chapter 12 at all. And chapter 13 is just around the corner. You can't wait for chapter 13. I'm also very excited for chapter 13. I've seen exactly one uh, animation for chapter 13, but I refuse to look at anything more. <laughs> I think what people said was the next anniversary was going to be the next story chapter. Yes, that that is what uh, I remember. Though I thought the, the Babel PV, or the Babel story, was the anniversary. I, however, was wrong. I am a bit ahead of myself. Uh, medic, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's probably like the next or the next one after that is going to be the uh, the actual uh, story chapter. Uh, none of those. Oh, it's this guy again. Yay. This time we go with the melee ones, I believe.
I'm I'm choosing the melee ones because this map doesn't have very many range tiles. It only has five range tiles. And one, two, three, four. That's already four. <laughs> This also helps me to stall a little longer. What does this do? Ling and the summons get attack and attack speed. This is going nowhere fast. One hundred percent a de dead run. There's nothing I can do from here. No, no reason for me to wait around. Ow. Honestly, this boss is 100% harder than the, f the three f floor three bosses. Yeah. I can see that. He comes out so fast. Womp. Maki is more like womp womp womp. I didn't get any of these? Damn. Rough. Oh. I got a message. needs picture ID. She needs my ID real quick.
I gotcha. Beep, meep, weep. Weep. Beep, beep, beep. Is that you redeeming something? No. Good to know. Um. No, just me going beep. <laughs> well, beep to you too, and you too, Maki. Um, I need more LMD, so, like, I'm gonna use some of my sanity to do some LMD farming. Uwu to you too. How dare you. And while this goes, I'm going to go to the restroom, so I'll be right back. I am back.
Do I have Proviso TP? Proviso TP? Huh? Is Proviso an operator that I can't remember? <laughs> Because something tells me that's an operator, I just don't remember. Oh, Proviso. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, I do have her. Put her on level two trading post and she'll drain your gold faster. Wait, level two? I don't want to do level two. Oh, wait, when stationed at a trade station in a pure gold order is less than four, order is considered default. Pure gold order is default. Increase it by two. Ah. So basically, less is more. <laughs> Hold on. Or you can do what Jessica did to get money. <laughs> Um, what does my base look like right now? Yeah, she's currently working, but she, she's also not E2. I could work on Proviso E2. Level 3 will bring 4, but level 2 will only to 3. Step one, quit your job. Step two, acquire military grade weapons. Step three, step four, profit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, something tells me that's uh, illegal <laughs> in uh, the real world. You can drain your drone to her. I completely forgot what Proviso was. She's not a caster. Is she actually a healer? I don't think she's a healer. She's not a healer. Supporter. She's a supporter. I think. Right? She's, she's not. Oh, she, there she is. <gasps> I don't have any. I don't even have her E1. <laughs> My salary did go up, thanks. Yeah, you're about to make me more money anyway.
load and silence. Need E2 for her to work, but it'll be worth. I, I believe you. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Joey needs three, so I have enough of those. I just need two more of these guys. Is that an ally block? Was that an ally block? I can't remember. No, that's an ally block. What I need is Oriron. Is there. A, I don't have any operator that does Oriron. What am I doing here? I'm not even going in the right direction. Wait, no. No, I am going the right direction. I'm dumb. Don't worry about it. I'm dumb. I lost track of where I was going and forgot where I was going. All at the same time. Going in the wrong menu direction? No, I went in the right direction and thought I went into the wrong direction. Before realizing, oh wait, I went in the right direction. Taking navigating menus to literally. <laughs> I wonder what this is. Oh. Angelina, but worse. <laughs> I have like no LMD left. She's only going to 25. But yeah, there we go. Proviso is now E2. If you're not using her that much, you can leave her at level 1. Don't worry. Since I'm doing uh, interlocking competition challenge runs, I might actually use her at some point. So it's better if I just level her now. Don't forget later. I've actually done a lot of progress today, to be honest. So now I need to reduce one of these trading posts to level two. Yeah, two, four, three. The three power plants uh, automatically give me what I need and then I have a factory producing tickets I have a factory producing tickets gold 
and gold. Two tickets, two gold. And that also makes it to where I never run out of gold. Oh, I need to do this. Also, at some point, I need to figure out what to do with these. How much LMD you make in a day? I have no idea. Also, hi, Chunky King. Welcome. Because I always ran out with Proviso. Huh, interesting. A wild ratio, or wait, a wild rato. Thank you for the happy birthday. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. No, 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 it's not ratio. Wait. It is ratio. Fuck. Wait, is it not ratio? 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 Righto! <laughs> Brain fart! I, I, I must have just chucked my brain out the window. Because it was not here at all. What was I doing? Does anyone remember what I was doing? Oh yeah, I was I was checking how much I was producing. I don't know how to do that. It's facility info? Hundred percent, thirty-five percent. Control center. Facility info. Base assistant. Is this right? Currently making nothing. <laughs> Are you sure I'm in the right? Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm still making zero. <laughs> but I'm not actually making zero. How am I making zero? I have no idea. It, it is very weird. Well, yeah, but I don't have any. I'm still acquiring orders. I don't know. It's the first time I actually looked at that. It's the first time I actually cared to look at that. <laughs> 
Is your UI bugged or something? I have no idea. Did you collect it per 12 hour? Uh, no. I, I do not play this game two times a day or I will get burnout. The secret to avoiding burnout. You have now learned it. <laughs> have you not collected it in the past two days? I have. That's why it's at zero. I, I collected it right before I started stream. So you guys didn't have to go through me collecting all of that. <laughs> kind of weird? Kind of. Well, no, it's supposed to be above zero if you produce anything. Ah, <laughs> it's the first time I ever bothered to look at it. It usually takes me less than five minutes to change my entire base uh, from everyone being in fatigue, and then I leave the base for the next day. where I repeat the process. I gotta use these now or else they will never be used. I will forget easily. You are actually doing in-game tax evasion by not doing your paperwork then. <laughs> I'm doing my paperwork and making sure everyone's not fatigued, don't worry. Hey, I'm doing a better job than a lot of people are. Most people don't even bother with the base. Or, if they do bother with their base, they keep everyone fatigued. <laughs> And then there's also the people who change the operators who are working to operators that don't actually have any buffs. There's a, a lot of different people. This base gets done in multiple different ways. Whether they're optimal or unoptimal, it still gets used as a way of doing things. I'm actually trying to decide on what game to do next. Because I don't have Star Rail downloaded at the moment. There, there. I, I have two, two options for other games that I want to do. Uh, because like I have plenty of time, 
to do all of these things. Uh, but then there's also the sub uh, slash don donathon uh, rewards. But since we haven't reached any of those, uh, I still have the two games plus the one gotcha game for one hour. Which I was told to do Star Rail. Uh, the other two games in mind are Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising, which is a fighting game. I've been playing that recently. Uh, we also have Dragon's Dogma 1 Hard Mode. Because I don't have the second game because I'm broke. I also don't know if my computer will be able to run that while streaming. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure my computer can run the other two just fine. And I know it can run Star Rail. So that's that's the current options on the table. If any of you are actually interested in those sort of things. Because we are actually a variety channel here. We we do a variety of different things. I don't just play gotcha games. Though it does seem like I do that a lot. <laughs> Honestly, if the uh, subathon slash donathon uh, lasts until uh tomorrow tomorrow evening then i'll have to do uh my uh, the D, D stream as part of the marathon because we do D D's uh D, D tomorrow evening Unless it's cancelled, in which then we do other things. But we also play uh, JRPGs on the on the channel. Uh, I've already forgotten what else we've I've played. Oh yeah, we did uh, we did relink on the channel, Grand Blue Fantasy relink. That was a lot of fun. I'm currently waiting for like the next patch though. If anyone's actually interested in uh, watching me play one of the other games, I'm I can uh, I can, like put up a poll or something or I don't know. I I just know that I can't do Arc Knights for a long period of time or else uh like i i can't play a single game for long periods of time without wanting to play something else that's why we're variety <laughs> and that's also why i play games off stream The more you know.
Understandable. Thanks. Is that, uh, is that all you got to say, Maki? Is that it? Was understandable? To, to my entire reign, all you gotta say was understandable. Beat him up. You guys are not helping. <laughs> More or less. You, you know what's worse is when the uh, the uh, repeat feature comes into the game. I'll probably I I won't be able to stream this as long as I'll usually do because here I can just sit back and relax and talk to chat. But once uh, the auto repeat function is there, uh, I will go by a lot faster. Or something, I don't know. I do know that in the future there will be other games that I am interested in that are gacha has are gacha games I believe. So th those will be added to the channel as uh, games I'll play. Like, for example, Azure Promelia, if that comes out. Uh, Grand Saga is a definite maybe. Um, Arknight's Enfield is a definite. Uh, Weathering Waves is a possibility. I'll probably play it for a bit, see if I like it, but I definitely like Azure Promelia more. I may not like the character, but I love the character song, the one that's currently playing. Hey, 111. Let's go. I finally reached another level. This is also another reason why I'm not 
Uh, I mean, me not playing multiple times a day is also why I'm not 100, uh, level 120. Even though I'm a day one player. Or week, week one player, I should say. Week one is more likely. You know what? I will make a bowl. Need to open up Twitch for this. Where I make poles. I think this is where I make poles. this five minutes long um what was the other options again what else can i add What other options do we have here? Oh, come on, Steam. Don't be like this. Steam is definitely being like this. Okay. I just popped my knee. Oh, so now you finally decide to open Steam. Thank you. Took you long enough. Oh, 
I actually can't think of any options off the top of my head, or even looking at Steam. There you guys go. Have fun with the poll. Of course it is a Twitch only poll at the moment. Sorry I don't know how to do a YouTube one. But it's up for five minutes. That's basically the rest of the current song and the next song. With probably a, a minute left over. Just given the option, since options are always nice. I also want to see what you guys would like to watch. Because I know not everybody will watch everything. So there's not much I can do about that. I just know I can't play Arknights for another 15 hours. And more if people donate or sub, which... May or may not happen, who knows. I will get right on that plank uh, as this next run goes. There is no next run. Fuck. There. <laughs> you guys can see one of my oldest runs. Hi, uh, hi, Devil Evie. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. 15 hour IS4 all endings grind when? No. <laughs> I, I could not do that for 15 hours. Uh, especially IS4. Uh, I'm gonna get to the 15 second plank and I will get right back.
There we go. Ugh. Ugh. But yeah, welcome to the stream, Devil. I hope you enjoy. I might have just said, I might have already said that. But that's okay, I'll say it again. But yeah, there, there is a five minute poll going on to see if people want to watch me play a different game. If anyone is interested in at all with that. <laughs> I I see how the poll has gone. Damn. Only one person voted for versus. Uh, let's go find Okay. Start fail. I haven't played this in months, by the way. I could not tell you what's new about what's new in this game, except like there's a new story. That's about all I remember. Because I've been staying away from it. Just remember, Rikon, you only get one hour of this. I am currently downloading the game, though. You really like that yeet button. Select that folder, install. Oh, the funny thing is my... I still have Honkai Star Rail as a source in my... Uh, uh, Streamlabs. Bruh. <laughs> God damn it, Raycon. Personally, I only played HSR until I got to the trash bin story. <laughs> Fair. I, I found the trash bin storyline really funny. However, it was a bit ridiculous. Uh, I thought the story would be lighthearted all the way through. But besides that, there was already things that I didn't like because it was a Hoyoverse game. But uh, I stopped right before 2.0 where it apparently got really heavy. Uh, before we go into that, we will be doing it. I at least want to clear the second wave of T3. Or, you know, try to. <laughs> oh, this is just great. Love this. 
just fucking wonderful. Also, this is basically stall the, the game mode. And I still don't know how I feel about that. Is there an Ifrit line? Sort of. But it's not really worth it. I'm just going to take Exia to deal with that right hand lane. Honestly, I should probably take another sniper just in case. to come at me I see oh there's a spot right there for stalling Texas altar tile? Yeah, probably. It'll probably end up being that way. Oh, Golden Glow died. Damn it.
destroyed those bombs. Man, this... Yeah. Suffer with me. My God, damn it, ten seconds. That's okay. I, I just wanted the first two waves. I don't want to go through the mindset of trying to get the third one done. <laughs> I still want cardigan skin, though. And it's all the way down here. Why is it at 35? Yeah, the problem is I have to do this crap too. Story actually broke you? I can believe it. I forgot which one broke me. Like the like out of the more recent stories, I don't remember what broke me. I don't think anything has actually broken me, but they've been really good. Like Lone Trail has been really good. You know what? This story. <laughs> this story is fucking. I hated it. Uh, if it hit too close to home. <laughs> As someone who streams, it, it was it was a little too close to home. So yeah, that that happened. I can imagine. Yeah. Big uh, big oof there. I'm hoping not to lag here because I am starting to download. Uh, Honkai Star Rail. Here's the hoping because it's 32 gigabytes. It says it'll be ready in about 20 minutes. Holy crap. You know, I should probably put... Uh, something on the screen to show that we're at 5 out of 20 for first goal.
Only 32 minutes? Your internet is faster than mine. I have to be able to stream somehow. <laughs> If I didn't have some sort of uh, streaming capability, I wouldn't be able to do this at all. Maybe I should move this over here. No, that still look just doesn't like look right in that corner. Maybe I should like change its color. I don't know. We'll just move it here for now, I guess. That'll work. <laughs> um, given I don't use an Ethernet cable since I only have a laptop and I like to change rooms with it, I also don't have an Ethernet cable. I also use a laptop. <laughs> You now have some more fun facts. Allegedly, I should have 100 Mbps speed, but I only get 10. Need to yell at your service provider then. I won't disagree with that. That does feel like something you should yell at them for. Oh, that is way too dark. That's not light enough. Can I make it brighter? Why does that look like it's just not big enough? Can we go bold? I think I'll just put this in the top right. That is actually garbage. You don't need a background color. Background color might help a little bit. Maybe something like that. Does that help see it better? Looks better. So if you're using wireless, then it makes sense why you aren't getting the full 100. I want to upgrade the route in the future. I'd make sure that connected Ethernet is letting you have the full speed. Yeah, I, I also need to get Ethernet at some point.
Honkai is uh, already halfway done. I'm hoping this plus the pin message will help people realize where I am on this. Um, but yeah. That looks fine to me, I think. If it won't, I will be really mad. I, I, I wish you luck with that, Reese Gandrew. Uh, why am I at 58? I should be at 56, shouldn't I? Oh, that's right, because I got a wind chime and a ten roll. I still feel like I'm over one. You can just call you. I can just call you Andrew. I will try to remember that. Do not expect me to constantly remember that, though. <laughs> Andy, I, I'll I'll try my best. I'll try my best. Oh wait, was it Proviso? Oh, uh, see, that's where it was. The simulation. We we can do simulation while we wait for Honkai to finish downloading. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, so it definitely wants me to put platinum here. And proviso here. Yeah. Or is Lapland when you need her? Hmm. I'm 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 under the assumption I don't need Black one because that's not how this works. I I'm still gonna keep going slow for this. I won't speed it up just yet. I wanna make sure I'm doing this right. Oh, he gets a range expansion from that. Ah, oh, I see. I don't know if that was needed, but I did it anyway. This, however, might be needed. Waiting for the other dog. Boom. Come on, you guys got this. I believe in you. No! Oh, I got it. <laughs> the chat was in the way for a second. <laughs> I'll just put it at the bottom right for now. Oh boy. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold out, hold out, hold out, hold out, hold out. Mm. 
again, we hold out. Sweet. First try. So 57 is going to be the number that it's going to stay out for a while. That had me sweating. Yeah, it, uh, it does seem like it's supposed to be a lot of close calls. And Honkai is currently verifying game resources. Excuse me. When when is the maintenance for Grand Blue Fantasy versus? I know it's supposed to be today. I'm pretty sure it's today. Um... Six seven PM PT PT to MST So I'm an hour ahead of it. So in about two hours. So we probably won't be playing Grand Blue Fantasy ver uh, versus Rising after uh, Honkai due to the uh, maintenance that's going to go on in just like an hour after. Uh, we stop with Star Rail. But we still have... Uh, other things that we can do. If I didn't... I wouldn't have done a 24 stream. 24 hour stream. On that note as well, uh, before it reaches 12 hours, by the way, we have to stop the stream and start it up again for the YouTube side of things so I don't lose the video. That's just like a, a thing that YouTube has is uh, they don't save videos past 12 hours, so... something I gotta gotta do uh in the meantime you know what let's do some SSS while we wait for star rail even though I dread doing this 
I do need to do it now that I've been trying to do more modules. Uh, we got attack and attack speed for every block used. Transfer permits equal to four times the total block. Casimir's. We'll do this one. Uh, let's see, convert all tactical equipment to transfer. This is the one I want. Defense and HP or defense and block. Definitely block. Attack and SP or just attack. I'd much rather have some extra SP. Deployment gain permits for random operators in the prep and choose one to transfer. We'll just do that. Uh, guard, just extra attack or attack and attack speed. That could be nice. We're going to do that. Attack speed, uh, definitely attack speed for uh, snipers. Medics, all allies take less physical and arts damage or Revived a downed operator within range. Hmm. Return retreated operators to the deployment. Relieving operator. 20 attacks being SP for th three seconds. That's pretty good. So maybe I want to do this. Juan Jessica, Texas, Gabriel, Mudrock is amazing, Saria, Aya, Inez, KLB, of course. Where's Golden Glow? Oh, Golden Glow is only level 50. Uh, Talapsis. Uh, I want specialists that can go on top and bottom range. We also need Ixia. I only have one sniper, that's not enough. Cruise and Grey Throat. And then. Weedy and Eater. We have one, two, three defenders. One, two, we need another vanguard, I think. Wait. We only have one guard. We need more guard. Imagine tax speed frost leaf. I need to work on our wolf spirit. 
since I just realized I still haven't maxed it. <laughs> I want Indra because Indra's cool. And then um, I guess. There's my team. No supporters because honestly, I don't really care about supporters. It's really all about like guards, caster, sniper, and having a defender that can block a lot. Um, gotta remember all this though. Yeah, I, I like this lineup. Two two medics uh, to reduce damage for everyone else, and then uh, the specialists could also give them more healing and more healing speed, which would be really good. Oh boy, uh, who do I throw back? Too early uh, for you for. Okay. I honestly should have done it the other way, but that's okay. And we start with you here. Then we go into another sniper. I want you as one of the last tanks, actually. Actually, no, I want you as a DPS, so maybe we do Indra first. Then we go into Saria. We also gotta make sure we have a healer down. Make sure people take less damage. Ooh, this this is a good one. Go right into Grey Throat. Into Weedy.
into KOB and to Golden Glow. Look at her go. Now everything dies. And this one is two defender, one guard. So we're going to guard again into guard into guard. <laughs> Fast attack speed fucking frost leaf over here. And fast attack speed golden glow. <laughs> The slowdown squad. Definitely want one of these two. And I think I'm going to take Siege first. Ooh. Then a Flame Tail. Too expensive to start with. What we want is to put Siege first, then Texas. Oh, actually, hold on. Okay, we didn't get uh, another Vanguard, so we go right into Texas. And I, I want uh, La Pluma right here to f probably finish things off with. So we're going to do into a weedy feeder. We'll make sure we put a Tolopsis down for that extra defense. Then into a uh, Gavial. The next one shouldn't be Max. That's correct. Okay, so then we go into a Frost Leaf. into a La Pluma. Then we go with Greythroat, Cruise, Axia, and then we wait. Ugh.
Flame Tail can probably handle it on her own. But I'm really looking for that next upgrade. There it is. Uh, the KOB into the Golden Glow. Wait, that's not Max? Uh, that's not Max, is it? No. Okay, what does this do again? Transfer pen, uh, permits equal to four times the... Okay, that worked. Now we got a maxed out Golden Glow. This is a temporary stop. Okay. Uh, what do I want next? I kind of want Jessica there. So, Lapland, you, 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 this, into Jessica. There we go. My party is ready. So Je Jessica has an extra 2 block, 80% defense, 40% attack, and 40 attack speed. <gasps> and Laplume almost died to that guy. <laughs> I mean, she did die to that guy, it's just, since it's SSS, she didn't actually die. Alright, what operator is he going to give me this time? I don't know how to feel about this. Maybe I just take a silence for extra permits. We'll do that. Shining. There we go. I was looking for a medic. There we go. Star Rail is still not ready, by the way. <laughs> I do find that hilarious. Um, E4 too expensive to start with. Uh, I want to start with right here. So we're going to do this. Into you. Then we go with you. I'll put La Pluma there for now. Just 
just for a bit of self-sustain. Oh, it gave me Golden Glow. It is over! Because I have Feeder into Weedy into Golden Glow. And as for this... I'm actually going to put Lapland as the last one. Uh, equipment activation. Two sets of the current class tack equipment. Uh, yeah, that one. I'm not going to use it right now. I'm going to do this. Defense. Do you want defense? We'll take defense. Sweet. Got a Tilopsis. These guys are so dead. Another healer, let's go. Another vanguard, let's go. Golden Glow just shredding through all that HP. Simon. Four units to the prep, zero to two to be removed and converted into permits. Transfer to deployment. I think we'll just take the permit maker. Also removing her finally. Ooh, this is an interesting one. Man, Star Rail's still downloading. Ugh. 
Oh, floor four. Overclock. Gain three permits from from each deployment slot occupied by low ground. Low ground operators gain SP, increasing with the amount of block used, up to a maximum of five. Um, sure. I did it. I did it wrong again. Oh well. I'm supposed to put Inez down first, then Texas. Uh oh. Damn it.
Oof. Another medic would be good. Honestly, I might just get medic again. <laughs> yeah. Because I want to max this out as soon as possible. get that 50% uh, increase in magic and physical defense resist and defense Not the best start, but it'll have to do for now. Oh no.
Ah, rip. Well, Honkai Star Rail's uh, downloaded. That's fine. Uh, I, I don't care about completely finishing SSS. Oh, hey. First time rewards. Didn't even know I had any. Uh, and before we move on to Honkai Star Girl, uh, I will be right back because I need other shit.
All right, we are we are back. Surprise! It still shows Arcanites on the stream, at least for me. First of all, that is loud. Uh, second of all, Let's drop that to 50. Uh, I'm just doing, uh, making it to where uh, you guys can't see me log in. This should be my main account. Once we fully get into the game, we'll start the one hour timer. Update complete, game will restart. Oh, good to know. The answer is no, this is not my profile. So I'm exiting out of Star Rail again. I, I just gotta make sure I am logged into the right one. Because I'm not starting all over again. It's 
painful enough to get to where you were, uh, where I am in the first place. So it's not that account. Is this the right one? <laughs> one of these is the right one. That's not it either. What the hell? Both of those made me restart. Oh, was it Twitter I used? I think it might have been Twitter. I think it was my Twitter account that I used. Really wish I didn't. <laughs> nope, God damn it. See, that time, that, uh, that was just me being an idiot. <sighs> I forgot to log out of the one that I logged in as. <laughs> so I could log into the actual one that I used. Verify. Yes, it's me.
Okay, now it's taking a while. Come on. Did it freeze or something? Jesus. Also, it still sounds loud. Let's try this again. Not the right password. That's also not the right password. What the hell? Are we kidding? Are you serious right now? Just logging into this game is giving me a headache. Are you kidding me? God damn it. Mm. More reasons to not want to stick with Helioverse. Is that my profile? One of these is the correct one. And I thought it was Twitter, but... Apparently I failed to type in the correct password like three times. And now I'm thinking I'm suspicious and that was not the right one. Ah! So much scuff. Where that was my Twitter password. What the fuck?
All right. Let's try this. Twitter. Username. Password. Authorize. Oh boy. Hey Raycon, you still here? Cause this is... Becoming annoying, to say the least. I could just wait, but then we're just doing nothing but sitting here. If you guys are curious, by the way. This is the screen that I'm stuck on. And the bar won't move. Yeah, I mean, eventually it will load, right? I don't know how long it'll take, but... Right? Hopefully? One hopes, right? It's not, like, bugged or something. More, more reasons to not enjoy Hoyo first. I, I'm sorry to anyone who's who's waiting for me to do something. I, I know I glimpsed over at the viewer count, and I shouldn't have, but I know it dropped. Uh, 
pretty significantly because I can't get into the damn game. No, I'm gonna exit out, reopen the game, and go from there. Maybe if I don't hit remember me? Oh, of course. The game just doesn't want you... To, doesn't want to be remembered. It doesn't want to remember that you're logging in next time. That's all it was. Just doesn't want to... The remember me option pressed. Why? What's the point? I don't get it. There we are. We we will start the one hour time now. So at 12 1254 on the timer left or uh, at 634 or 635 uh, MST PM uh, will stop but for now we are here finally I haven't forgotten how to play the game, so... Not rolling on that banner. Do not care. Do not care. Nope. Nope. And I still don't have the free character. Probably won't for a while. Or ever, because, you know, reasons. Oh, gift for returners. That is not much. <laughs> That's a bit more. Returning guide? Complete survey? No, don't put me into that. Again, I, I don't want in there. Festive gifts. Oh, anniversary, that's right. They're they're going with a one year anniversary thing. Signets in a cup. Trailblaze mission. Oh, re embark on the cosmic adventure because the one year anniversary. I'm not gonna bother with that. We'll probably just do like the story and maybe uh some uh side stuff as well mm -hmm. i just don't want all of this exclamation mark stuff first Oh yeah, I forgot. Like, I, I remember about this. Like, where you can have, uh... Multiple... Up there. Uh... 
Yeah, we'll do that. Um... Oh wow, I still get a free ratio. Oh, I got a happy birthday. I'm guessing this is just like fuel. Oh god. Oh, that's easier at least. This is probably just because I got the... yeah. Um... Data bank? Oh, I just need to open it. There we go. So that was also new. Reserve trail blast. Oh, my power is already at max. Hey, Maki, welcome back. I'm just, uh, I'm doing the one hour thing that, uh, of a gotcha. I was told to play. Star Rail. And here I am playing Star Rail. Mm. Package. Are there nameless in the cosmos? Sure. Oh, it's a side quest. I'll do it later. Hello. And that's the main quest. So we'll be doing that. Fate's Atlas. Yeah, like, this was cool. And then we had this. And then we had these as well before we even got this. And it was like, really? It's like, I get it, but I was really hoping at the time to just move on with the main story. Uh, there's also one other thing I wanted to check, because we might as well. Um, this. Birthday? Yes, it is my birthday today. This is not what I was... Okay, so that's not what I thought it was at all.
Thank you for the happy birthday, uh, mention. Just dropping by to say hi? That is fine. Do not worry about it. Super late for work? Ready to go get to work? <laughs> Good luck at work. New content unlocked? Yeah, I don't care. Time to head to the next stop. Let's meet up with everyone in the parlor car. See you around, Sniper. <laughs> Pom Pom knows how to keep people on the edge of their seats. Ahem! Apologies for the delay, dear passengers. Something important came up, so I, the conductor, had to spend some time preparing. So, what came up? Yeah, what was so important? I thought everyone knew. Our next destination is the planet of festivities, Panacone! I know everyone's eager to disembark and get to that famous stellar hotel, but before we set off, I should remind everyone of three things. First, Panacone is located in Azana, a star system brimming with memoria which has historically been one of the macro voids that leaked out from the memory zone. Even after eons, the memoria concentration up ahead is above normal levels. Usually this wouldn't be a huge problem, but everyone's different, so if you exhibit any signs of dizziness, hallucination, distorted memories, or any other symptom, you should take them seriously. Second, Penacone is a colony belonging to the Harmony family. It also marks the first time this family has extended a public invitation to other factions. Please remember that the Express has been invited as a guest, and that we must adhere to any and all regulations. Got it. When in Rome, as they say. <laughs> Don't worry, Conductor. We definitely won't embarrass the Nameless. Rome? Anyway, third and final, rather than being a request, Pom Pom has a favor to ask of everyone. If you could, I hope that while you're all on vacation, you could spare some time to help inquire about a few of the nameless. New crewmates? Uh, allow me to explain. Just like most of the worlds that the Express calls at, Penacone is one of the stops along the Silver Tracks. Several millennia ago, it was an IPC frontier prison, and it was the trailblaze that connected it to thousands of stars. During that time, the Astral Express once visited Penacone. As with all meetings, they inevitably lead to goodbyes. As the Express's logs indicate, it seems some passengers decided to call Penacone their permanent home. We'll still be able to find them. Just think of it as returning to your hometown. Following the Express's departure, the Stellarons cut off contact to myriad worlds, and Penacone's ownership switched hands several times. Why did these nameless choose to stay here? How did the course of their subsequent lives unfold? And what legacies did they leave behind? Retracing our predecessor's footsteps. That is in itself an adventure, wouldn't you agree? Even if they left the stars behind them, their trailblaze would not be over. That's also what the conductor thinks, isn't it? According to the passenger list, the three people who got off were Tiernan, Legor, and Rosalina, the Express's guard, mechanic, and surveyor, respectively. No supplementary details are available. Uh, just names and occupations? And they don't even sound like they're real names, either. This will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. We'll just leave it to the stars of fate. Considering the Nameless's diversity... 
Perhaps we might even stumble upon their descendants. Or against the slimmest of I'm doing alright. I'm just... Individuals themselves. There was a bit of frustration getting this game to open. There's a bit of time left before we jump. In the meantime, it might be a good idea to That's go all. check your bags. I'll broadcast an announcement before we jump. There's Oh, this is the side quest. It it got like the main quest got cut off because of this. Uh, what's it doing here? Yeah, from another nameless. Other. All interesting people would be good if you can meet them one day. I guess we open it. Projection device. Maya. Yes, I just said that. Former nameless. Something you've been hiding. It's in it for me. Uh, Jarillos Six is. Supposed to be. There's a bit of warmth. Game use some of the most imperceptible luck. Can you get any other nameless? You're a former. Hey, hundreds of years ago. Oh, she's been... she's... she's dead. Talk about me later. If I refuse... I think you'll accept. Doesn't mean I'll do it right away, though. Cancer of all words spreading everywhere. The silver rail was blocked. Extreme climate alterations raged to no end. There's never been an easy task to... I forgot this was on an auto. Continue to go out and explore. Everything we did was to make the trailblaze a little stronger. Collecting trailblaze experiences. Spinning. I think you've tried it out for yourself. You'll get it. Graced Voyager. Sealed within her. Collects experiences. And luck offers blessings. Close your eyes. I'll mimic views by the Garden of Recollection and construct a familiar trailblazing experience. A kinder and gentler approach. Exploring, understanding, creating, connecting uh, will help support trailblazers. Oh, that's what this is. Let me out. Uh, support you. A bit abstract. Offer these pom pom. Greater the rewards. Ugh. Now I'm forced into it. Oh, great. Uh, roll dice to advance. Travel play sons through a variety of game modes. More personal rewards. We use scenes and companions you're familiar to create the map along with your adventure. Heard a space station doesn't just bring back memories.
on the game tile. Windfall slot machine. You can get trailblaze funds if you get the designated image. Try your luck. Sure. Great. Wonderful. I, I, I guess I'll just do this real quick. Encounter tile. Don't make any choices that you'll regret it. Feel you don't actually know her. F smiles force, cold look fitting. She's the possible to make an android into a real home human with rich enough script. Sure. It's all in the hands of luck. Great. Rip. It's not. Oh, there's a reroll coin. Great. Oh, this was supposed to happen. Continue. Roll it. Uh, see funds every time it's cast. I feel like it's just better to you to do this. Yeah. Oh my god, it's partially Monopoly. See down to uh, three stuff. Also, Lucky Bubbles. Pick the side for you first. Oh, uh, so you get the buffs even if you pass over it. Rules are different. Lucky Bubbles just picked up will increase your funds. Sweet! Buffs can increase the funds you obtain. It's a golden counter towel. Something good about to happen. Oh my gosh, I'm rolling a one. Yep. Person of that can escape stereotype of rich lady anymore these days, but she's obviously just a youthful and symbolized quick tempered lead researcher. Observe the stars. Who wouldn't be overwhelmed by the feeling? Am, am I worthy to stand next to her? Uh, sorry, Sai. It's like the stars themselves are talking to you. Great. Dice are all used up. Time to contribute. Cool. Right back into it already. Oh, did I just get 15 more dice? Jesus. Remote dice? How many steps you want to move? Try it out. There's something nice coming up. Yeah, it's forcing me to use the five again. Uh, sure. Su Sheng, I guess. Oh, scientific questions? Oh, this is A, B, or C. It's a question, never mind. Experimental design? Probably Ron May. Collect and analyze data? Oh, that's Topaz. Overview of the map. Oh my god. It's a friend's form. Oh my god. Give a like to the other name. Let's see it. Reroll coins? Yay. Sure. I can give it to myself too. Let's go. I guess we'll use all these dice. Might as well. 
15 buffs or funds? Uh, buffs. Why not? Lucky streak. Cool. Sure. Ghost story. Keep calm. Carry on. Yeah. So there's just opinion questions. No, nope. don't get it out of me. Nice puppy. Fine. I don't see the direction the moon is going. Uh, barbecue time. Out of 50? Oh my god. Great. You do 50, you only get 60. Oh, wow. Come on. Permanently effective. Great. Claim. Whatever that is. More dice. Just give me your normal dice, I don't care. Blink. Roll. That way. That one. Sweet. Sure, I'll trust the Luca. Good enough for me. Single step. Single step. Uh, land revenue. Amazing. One step again. I can add stakes. Sure, we'll do times two. Why not? Rip. Oh. Another question mark.
Sure, I'll head there. Works for me. Try another round. Oh no. More? We're gonna be doing this the entire time. Perfectly sure he was framed. Fine. Yeah, I'll save him. Negotiate. Stop fighting. Always the most expensive. Might as well. Might be a body. I should have gone with the other one because the other one was uh, land revenue. This way. Always times to it. Why not? Write scripts for stage plays. I have no idea. Anya, I guess? No, Pela. Pela. Set up the stage. Oh, that's Sir Ball. Play the pro tag? Probably Yang. He's arrogant enough for it. Picking you. Great. I did something.
He got the Silver Wolf. Tatum. This is hilarious. I'll just listen. Amazing. Golden hour? Sure. Um, debate. Cool. Who needs reroll tokens when he can just get the best option every time? This one. Claim. Purchase remote dice five. Write music. Oh, that's Inka. Songwriter. Uh, best singer. Probably Kafka. Where does this take me? Two, three, four, five, six. We'll just roll six then. Cool. A lot of funds. Oh my god, we got more. How do we still keep getting more of these? It's doing this on purpose.
costume designer. Costumes by hand. Costume model. I don't know who this person is, but I'm going to choose that person. Comes along the first time. With me. You're asking the wrong person. I'm bad with directions. I forget things easily. <sighs> I don't even know if I'm doing well. I'm just doing random shit. You won't get away with this. More fun means. Oh, we're back to the start. We're gonna go the other way. Oh, we can turn it up even more now. I didn't even notice that. Assignment's done. Doink. Oh, Asta. For sure. Charge of cooking? Lynx. 100%. Wash the plates? That'd be Arlo. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Sounds good to me. This one, that one, this one, and that one. On you as well. And you. Cool. Listen in. Observe. Always the most expensive one. I think this way this time. There we go. Thank you. Uh, one, 
two, three, four, five, six. This thing. One, two, three. We'll do three. I think a two is fine. Plan for a trip? Oh, March. Charge of leading the way. Oh, hook. Travel expenses. Probably team. Oh my god, we're still going. We haven't even started this story. We're gonna be doing this the entire time. Hey, Saki. How you doing? Welcome back. I'm doing all right. Had some issues opening this game, but we made it. This little uh, event thing that we're doing is taking Longer than an hour, apparently. Rory! Thank you for the sub! Still your feet, a sub. Thank you, thank you. I, I can now update... Is there a game that you'd want me to play for an hour, Rory? Yeah, I'm feeling much better. Uh, since you since you subbed, you you get to make me play a gotcha game for an hour of your choice. I don't want to make you suffer DOS and AK, so unless you haven't played it yet, try Blue Archive since the anime was released yesterday. If you if you wish me to play Blue Archive, I would play Blue Archive for an hour. That is quite fine. It was your sub, so you got to choose. Also, I have suffered in DOS already. I'll do that without the sub. No, 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 no. It's not up to me. That's not the point of the subathon. 
What would be the point of the subathon if, if it was up to me? Am I having fun? I am rolling dice and going around a map. I have all these reroll tokens that I haven't even bothered to use because I don't care enough to roll them. Because I haven't gotten to, like the lowest amount of points yet. The character attachment for them? Are you talking about this game? I, I have a... Uh... Oh, to want to see the options. Uh, I have character attachment to some of these. Like, I, uh, for example, I, I looked at uh, Sela's. Oh, that was really, uh, that was really cute. Because she, uh, she was trying to learn ballroom dancing. She's one of the characters I like, but I I have other characters uh, that I actually do like in this game. It's just recently there haven't been any characters that I would actually roll for. And before 2.0 came out, I actually stopped playing the game for a long while. The fight for the ball out front? Probably Blade. <laughs> mm. Organize and time attacks. Well, he's a general. Best defender. Oh. Watch Fu uh, Fu Xuan get hit by the ball despite knowing where it'll be. <laughs> I'm just surprised I'm still going. It's like it, ke it keeps giving me dice. It knows it's your B-Day. You set one on it. But yeah, before I go, enjoy the wondrous world of the Blue Archive. I'm gonna go and suffer animating and sound of cheap. Good luck with that. I wish you luck. Once again, thank you. I, I, I do appreciate it. You know what? Fine. We'll, we'll, we'll retry until we hit the highest one. There we go. Honestly, I'm about to just do do this and just start the one hour when we actually get to the story. Because this is taking much longer than I expected.
land revenue. I don't know who this character is. I have so many of these reroll tokens, we might as well go for the highest. There we go. I forgot where this goes next. Uh, five. Whoops. There we go. Oh my goodness. See, look, it just keeps giving me dice. Whoa. What the hell? Like, I get it, you want me to play, but holy crap. Is this normal? More dice. I just met this person. I don't even know who that person was. Come on, just max it out. Max it out. Thank you. You know what? Just give me these houses. Gambling habit habits for gotcha lovers. Yeah, no kidding. This is insane. There we go. If you complete all the rewards, you should be good, though. Well, I haven't. There's an affinity test that I haven't completed. Cultivate seedlings? Ron May? Prune stray branches? I assume Argenti. Harvest the fruits. Us? I don't know, I think I could do a good job. We want a four. Two. One. All the dice. Turn the wall up. I'm surprised eighty percent of people chose that. As they are playing a gotcha game and they're greedy for money. Uh, there we go. That one. Uh, I'm inspired.
A map would just get me more lost. Uh, uh sure. Yoink. I've already done this one. Oh, now I can do times four. There we go. I need a two regardless of which direction I take. Oh no, I needed three. Shit. Chase the puppy. Uh, nope. Definitely not. Nope. Give me the big one. Give me the big one. I have enough of these retries. Give me the big one. Thank you. We're gonna go this way this time because we went the other way last time. Oh, this one's new. Oh, it's Herta. Uh, we're not gonna hit Herta. Please give me the top one. Thank you. right past the house. Same spot again. Joy filtration. Oh, great. Let's not open that. <laughs> Report it. Am I doing well? I have no idea. Am I doing it anyway? Yes. Right, this is the same one. I chose Pela, uh, Serval, Inchi. Because I don't think it matters. Ooh, we got exactly one. Oh boy! More dice! Who would have expected that? I'm gonna just roll a bunch of ones here. 
Give me all the houses. All these are mine. Except that one. And that one. There we go. Are, are you enjoying watching me roll dice, Saki? See, this is the one I, I, I thought was really cute. I, I did the top option, obviously. There we go. Oh no. I, I hate this option is for obtained land revenue, but I want the land revenue. Yay, support from all the trash cans. Also headed there first, so we're gonna do this one next. Does Topaz like me? There we go. I do hope this is enjoyable for you. <laughs> Because this is insane. Oh, definitely give it to Lings. Not Sampo. Never Sampo. I'm not the type to be able to do calculations. Uh. I think we'll go upwards. Of course we hit the house that we already have. And then we miss the house that we don't have. At least this is new. So much money. Five and one, two, three, four, five. That's a good one. Two, three, four, five. 
Ah, that's a house down there. Side effect table. I'll stop it. Ambush. Family. One more is all I need. I'll take a remote dice then. I'll just grab this house. I've done both of these. Time to contribute and get more dice. Apparently this game just wants me to finish this in one go. I think I spent... I spent more than an hour trying to finish this, by the way. That's insane. Oh, I've already done this one. Cool, two more remote dice. Already been here. That's a lot. Three steps remaining. One, two, three, don't need that. One, two, three, I guess we'll go that way. Trash games. I don't know who Misha is. I also don't know what this is.
There you go. I wonder what this is. Oh, it's Kafka. I'm gone. See ya. Four against or neutral to Kafka? Neutral. I finally finished it. Light chasing guileless. I don't know what that means. A generous person who is empathetic and affable, passionate about addressing the needs of others, and people find it easy to confide in you. Look at selfless as your duty, compelling yourself represents your ideal, and offering aid to others serves as a motivation to begin your journey. I mean, this isn't wrong. I did those answers so fast, I'm like, eh, it's not wrong. I still have more dice though. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, cool. I got them all. Okay. Yeah, uh, I, I guess I finished that entire event in one sitting. Uh, that's kind of insane to me. The game is better at ensuring you finish some of the events. I used to finish all of the events when they came out. I used to play this like daily. Nah, this one's still the coolest. I don't know what this is. Uh, uninterested at the moment. Music right now on the train is my favorite. Yes. The this is uh, one of my favorites. The the other one, I don't know what that is. Is wildfire. Oh, that's here now. Okay, so that's just always here. Turn on. The hell? We share taste. That's good. Welcome to the interesting what the broadcast. fuck? 
Good evening, everyone. This is new. Good evening. Please go faster, at least. Welcome to a new episode of Interastral Peace Broadcast. We are here to bring you the latest news from across the galaxy. Is it actually latest? The IPC and the Sienjo Alliance have renewed their trade agreement, bringing great economic benefits to both parties. Seems the head of the new. Armed archaeologists of the Intelligentsia Guild, Alan Jones. Don't know who that is. Saw the excavation of the ancient tomb of Emperor Rupert the First. The ruins rank as a category Omega site on the potential disaster index. Renowned songstress Robin has received an invitation to perform at Penacony's Charmony Festival. Don't know who that is either. The Garden of Recollection has gathered memoria fragments from the lost world of Moonshield. The precious memories of this world will not be forgotten. Another two names that I don't understand. Let's take a closer look at the details. Regarding the IPC and the Sienjo Alliance, the Sienjo La Fu has opted to renew the trade agreement. The agreement will help to open up markets and promote cooperation between the two sides in agriculture. Uh, Industry, also, on the note of characters that I like, free, open, there was going to be that one that I liked, and then I figured out her personality. And then I was like, you know what? No. No, I don't like her anymore. Of course, I haven't seen anything on the character. I've just gotten uh, feedback from other people reacting to the character. <laughs> on, like, Twitter and other places. atrocities committed by the Antimatter Legion and conveys the Amber Lord's wish for preservation to all worlds ravaged by that wretched force. Emperor Rupert I left many horrific relics across the universe, and one of them, the Mechanical Emperor II, has captivated the interests of countless people since its discovery. The excavation of the tomb is led by the head of the armed archaeologists of the Intelligentsia Guild, Alan Drake one armed Hey, Skrulum. I know that name. Genius society member, Skrulum. It is hoped that the excavation of this metallic relic, which holds a category Omega ranking on the potential disaster index, will finally shed a light on its mysterious nature. According to records of the Emperor's deeds left behind by the Inorganic Legion, the original purpose of the site was to house oh my the God, this is long. by the imagination of Rupert the First. A spokesperson for the Intelligentsia Guild said, We have no way of knowing what amazing discoveries Jones will uncover, but we are hopeful that his findings will further our understanding of the Emperor and help save the universe from the horrors that he will bring with him when he returns. The Interastral Peace Broadcast will be covering this story throughout the excavation. Penacony, the planet of festivities, announced that it will invite renowned singer Robin to perform at the Charmony Festival. Once every Amber Era, countless followers of the Harmony will attend this long-held tradition of the planet of festivities, and together pray for a brighter and better future for the universe. Robin is a superstar whose voice is known throughout the cosmos. She has been the recipient of many top awards. It is believed that during the celebrations, Robin will sing a hymn for the Eon of the Harmony in the name of the family. The IPC will broadcast the entire event, sending the sounds of music and good wishes to worlds far and wide. As we all know, the Garden of Recollection has always been committed to the restoration of lost civilizations, igniting the spark of revival across the cosmos. According to reliable sources, thanks to the efforts of the Memo Keepers, all Memoria fragments of the dead world of Moonshield have been salvaged. 
Moonshield was destroyed during an invasion by the Antimatter Legion. But with the combined efforts of the IPC and the Garden of Remembrance, the collection of information about the Fallen World was recently declared a success. The Memo Keepers plan for it to be reborn in the pristine land of the Remembrance. The destruction can destroy any material thing, but it can never take away our hope. The IPC will provide whatever support and protection within its means for the long-term development of all civilizations across the universe, including those that have perished. And this is the end of our broadcast. Please tune in for our next episode. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Wow. I did not expect that to go on for so long. Turn off. Peaceful friend. No, I turn you off. You're the picture of calm as always. Meanwhile, March 7th, buzzing around like a kid on a sugar rush. Oh, she sure is. Sure. I trust Fenaconi won't let you all down. But regarding the family's invitation, I do have some details that I wish to discuss with everyone. Just not now. Let's enjoy our vacation for now. All right, uh, I will have to be right back. Uh, my dinner is soon to be ready, if not already ready. So I'm gonna go eat that and I'll be back after that. We will do an hour of story. I promised an hour of Honkai Star Rail story and we will do an hour of Honkai Star Rail story. But when we get back. <laughs> Until then, I'm going to put a text on the screen. A break for birth. There we go. <laughs> A little bit of a rhyme in there, too. See you soon.
All right, we are back. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Ended up uh, not having cake yet. Cake will be a little bit later, but that's okay. All right. The one hour starts now, so at 8.15 p.m. my time, we will stop. And then we'll move over to Blue Archive if we can. How's it going? All packed and ready? There probably won't be any surprises happening on family territory, which is a bit of a shame if you ask me. <laughs> but hey, it's rare that we can take a break and let loose. Let's enjoy it. You seem disappointed. Of course not. Adventures are exhilarating, but rest and recuperation is equally important. Rest and recuperation aside, don't forget Pom Pom's request. The conductor has done plenty for us, and it's time to return that favor. Uh, I guess the other two <coughs> are in the other cabins. Oh yeah, I still have bubbles. Nice. Toiletries. 
toiletries. Ah, drat! The travel bottles I ordered haven't arrived. Oh. Although I hear that Penicone's resort hotel is pretty luxurious, I'm guessing their toiletries should be just as fancy. <laughs> that means <coughs> I can make more room in <coughs> my suitcase. What else should I bring? <laughs> you won't fit in the suitcase. <coughs> Can't you walk? I had to. Uh, maybe I should bring some novels or comic books. At least then I won't be too bored while staying in the hotel room. These books are so heavy. <laughs> Aw, this is hard. What else should I take? Ah. Okay. Uh, get models. Models fine. I thought my model messed up for a second. Ah. I spoke to Mr. Yang. I'll be staying on the express this time. I wish you all a delightful time in Penacone. Um, I respect it. It's reassuring to know we're on a similar wavelength. Pay no mind to the matters concerning the Xianzhou. Penacone isn't the final stop on our trip. We have plenty of time. Once everything is packed up, I will naturally catch up with all of you. Um, I'd advise double-checking your bags. Word is that the family's customs procedure can be quite demanding. Better to sort it out now than face issues at your hotel check-in. It's about time. I should find a seat. Ahem. Hi. Hello. Attention, <coughs> passengers. The express is about to make the jump. The express is about to make the jump. Please be seated and hold on. The train is about to make the jump. Five, four, three, two, one. That was different. Where did we go? Not another one. Come with me. Hello, Sila 2.0. I'd like to know who you are. These questions have no meaning. But I will answer you as best as I can. This is the border between reality and the memory zone. Uh... Dreamscape. Right this moment, you and I have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape and appeared in each other's minds. This is the Land of Dreams' inaugural welcome for us. Worry not, for very quickly you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. I know mind. 
for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. It is an occurrence that we have become accustomed to for so long. So, come with me. I'll take you home. Left, to the end of the corridor. I will wait there for you. Oh, you'll wait? <clears throat> that means that I can go everywhere else that I want to, right? You won't. Cool bath. Nice lamp. I wonder what that is. Palm trees and the moonlight, nice touch. Whoa. Okay, I'm going this way. I'm not there. Turn back. I disagree. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Why am I the bat? I don't want the bat. Give me this lance. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. Galaxy Ranger. Wow. She really doesn't want me to explore. Open this door. Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Well, you can still remember. Good place. <clears throat> this is no way this way. How about this way? Damn it. I really want her to say something. After you. This way. Damn it. Nothing? Got nothing to say? Am I supposed to walk up the wall? Wait, what? Oh. I see. There is a ceiling floor. How is this even possible? I don't know, but it... Why not? Oh. She can hear the thoughts in my head? Uh, apparently. <laughs> Why not? See? Stop thinking. That's how you get in trouble. I wish to go this way after. Oh. We're almost there. Can you still walk? I have become Trailblaze. The perm. Perambulator of walls. You're funny. If you can crack jokes, you're probably fine. Yeah, probably. Don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. Or up, for that matter. Nah, it'll be fine. Ooh. Hi, Ratio. Ah, charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear Gambler. <sighs> Three chips are enough. All or nothing. That sounds <clears throat> terrible way to gamble, by the way. These voices. They are just shadows of the dreamscape. Pay no heed to them. Nah, I will pay heed to them. Silver Wolf. To pull them off the stage. I think that's All we Sam. Have to do is present the truth, and they will naturally reciprocate. 
much deeper voice than I expected him to have. The Charmony Festival stage belongs only to you. And I don't know either sister. of these. But if I can't sing, what meaning does the stage have? I like her design. Two characters I don't really like. And one that I really don't like. I'm sorry. The dance partner of my choice. I've already chosen. Did I miss any talks? I don't think I did. Seriously, she looks like Sila from behind. Like, if I didn't know any better, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. We're here. Are we? Oh. You want me to go in. Welcome to the oh, Reverend. Jesus. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. Leave this realm and rise as you would on any other day. Forget this fortuitous encounter and return whence you came. But before you do, I would make a request of you. So how was the cake? The cake's not ready yet. I had dinner, though. The dinner was good. You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude, but I wish to know. Have we met somewhere before? Mm, what's going on? You evoke memories of an old friend. In the haze of my recollections, she stood shoulder to shoulder with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close, yet forever out of reach. There's always a reason why they change uh, the, uh, the word's color. She, she's doing something. Please stop it. May I ask you a few more questions? I tend to forget things, which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. The answer is inconsequential. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. Have we met somewhere before? You have a memory this old friend. Yeah, uh, uh, makes no sense to me. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? Family? Enemies? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. Yeah, it depends on who I was talking, uh, like, who, 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 whose name came out of my mouth. Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? Sus. I'm sus. Uh, oh, no. She's sus. I'm sus of her. There we go. If I ask if you fear losing these bonds, if it means that I will disappear, I would fear them. Uh, sure.
Hmm. Then, if there was a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. There, no one faces life's separations or deaths. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. I would ask, would you wish to stay? I have to go to sleep now. Have a wonderful rest of your birthday. Bye bye. Have a good have a good sleep. Thank you for coming. And hope to see you next time. Um, I don't know. Now. Imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember, the joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging, all will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? Everyone and every face, they remember the joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed, and those obtaining all wounds. If you had grasped the journey's finality right from its inception, would you still embark on this journey? Hold on. I... That's a confusing line. I don't know. I know this is hard. You don't have to be hard pressed to make a decision. As I have said, the answer is inconsequential. Hearing, touch, thought, through these you gain emotions. Cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. And so we return to the original question. I would ask, do you still remember me? Rusandru, thank you for the sub. Is there a gacha you would like me to play for an hour? Little birthday present before you leave? I appreciate it. You do get the choice of me playing a gotcha for an hour, if you wish. Uh, other than Arknights, because I'll play that one regardless. This is the first time we've met. <laughs> I understand. How interesting. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave entirely different responses. That was my final question. Thank you. We all have our paths to walk. So we shall bid our farewells.
I am curious if we the meet again. Dream is getting restless. In the coming long night, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. And finally, your sight will only see black and white. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. What you must do now is ponder its significance. And then you can return to the waking world. That's where we all find our answers. Holy crap. <laughs> That is interesting. What's wrong? Why are you crying all of a sudden? Think I'm going to add one more hour to Blue Archive then? Fair enough. Two hours of Blue Archive it is. Thank you for your contribution. <laughs> I'm sure Rory will be more than happy. <laughs> Have a good night. Anytime. Uh, you should be careful. It seems your tolerance to Memoria isn't the strongest. Don't fret. Dreams are often the reverse of reality. While you were sleeping, the Express arrived at Pataconi. Can you imagine? Yesterday's grim frontier prison is today's lavish hotel. I wish I could wander Pataconi streets today, but I'm pretty train tied at the moment. You'll have to be my eyes and ears while we're here. Gear up and make sure you've got everything. And before you step out, swing by the back and grab March. She's waiting for you there. Is March 7th still packing her luggage? <laughs> ah, it's just like her. I keep trying to push E. Why am I pushing E? Hey, thanks, March. Shall we go meet up with them now? Let's go. Penacony, the planet of festivities, the universe's biggest and fanciest amusement park awaits. I wouldn't have put it past them to try and nab that Stellaron from inside you. It's stable. Uh, aside from that, I have to say the family has been really accommodating. Well, the hassle was worth it. Just look at this grand hotel lobby. It's pretty big. Welcome to the Reverie, 
May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. I'm Misha, a bellboy working here on You're the Misha. Pleased to be at your service. If you need help with your baggage. Uh, over here. Something's not right. Should you need assistance with moving luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. Uh, please, go ahead. Don't keep your friend waiting. Well, he seems nice, but who knows? Welcome to the reverie. May you have an unforgettable holiday. Uh, yes, this hotel is Panacone in real life, and the Panacone. He won't talk the about the dream. Is a place where the miracles are born, a land of lavish joy, a grand banquet where the curtains never fall. Um, uh, it's hard to describe its magnificence in words. In any case, you will surely be odd. Uh, yeah, it is. The Reverie does not only Unique provide accommodation hotel. for its guests, it is also connected to both Panacone's reality and dreamscape. Guests from all over the cosmos come here to immerse themselves in a marvelous, dreamy journey. Once I get tired out. Dream pool provides a comfortable dream experience, so don't you worry about that. Aren't dreams fake? A good question. Maybe not all dreams are false. Well, at least the ones in Panacone aren't. Or perhaps should I say they are... Uh, another reality? How's it working? Uh, uh, are you asking me? Uh, hmm. Well, it's not too bad. Many guests come and go, and I get to hear all about their adventures. Got it. You'll know what I mean when you enter a dream. Panacone will not disappoint. Here, the family held a grand event. Ah, you are well informed indeed. It is an opportunity provided by the family, and a tradition on the planet of festivities. Everyone gathers in the hall. Reveling in merriment, pursuing opportunities, staking all they have on one desperate gamble. And finally, their dreams become reality. Nothing more. May you have a pleasant stay in Panacone. Why, thank you. Hey, what's the big gathering at the concierge about? We've just arrived and there's already drama? Uh, I think I forgot to do something. Let me change the YouTube side to uh, Honkai, because I think I forgot to do that. Probably be a good idea to do that. Especially since we swapped to it. Unless I'm still on entertainment, which I shouldn't be. Uh, do, 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 do. Noise. do that. We can start rail. Mm -hmm. Save that. There we go. Noise. There we go. I'm sorry, but your name really isn't in the system. But in the information I received from the Astral Express, it states that we already reserved rooms. Please, check again for me. Yes, ma'am. Please give me a moment. The Astral Express, four platinum guest rooms, whose names include Mr. Welt Yang, Miss Himiko, Miss March 7th, and Mr. Don Hung. These are the only four names on the reservation list. Damn, Mr. Don Hung reporting for duty. What's going on? You've 
run into some trouble. Your name isn't on the hotel's reservation list. I... I understand. No wonder our friend's name here is missing. When we responded to the family's invitation, she hadn't even arrived on the express. Uh, there it is. Something came up in Don Hung's schedule, and he couldn't make it. I have an idea. Uh, could you reassign his room? It's still the same number of people. She's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. We can vouch for her status. I... Even if that is so, I'm afraid... <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not doubting your status. It's just pulls out Lance. Well, it's just that right now we're on the eve of the Charmin Festival, Panagoni's most important moment of every era. And with the family's invite, all guests from all over the cosmos have thronged this place. Hotel security is on high alert with zero room for error. And with such a last minute change, it really isn't something that this young lady's words can resolve on a whim. My esteemed guests from the Astral Express, please do not make it harder for her. We are sorry for all the trouble our check in seems to have caused. Might I ask for your name? I am the humble aventurine of the IPC Strategic Investment Department. I'm oh, hey, another IPC. Asset liquidation specialist and subordinate to Supervisor Dunmond. I was cordially invited by the watchmaker. <laughs> I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for quite a while. Leave it to me. I've heard that the IPC has also received Penacone's invitation. So forgive me if I'm mistaken, but you must be the representative. The IPC's elite certainly does have an extraordinary air about them. I suppose such an exceptional figure such as yourself wouldn't mind paving a convenience for us? I, I must be hearing things. Paving a convenience? Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? I've been waiting here for more than 10 minutes. Do you know how many credits 10 minutes is worth to me? It must be an inordinate number, which is why now, Mr. Aventurine, I have an investment which you absolutely cannot miss out on. The IPC's influence runs deep and wide, and their word wields the utmost authority. We hope to borrow your status to vouch for her. As such, you won't just be sparing much of your invaluable time, but also forging new friendships. <laughs> well, this is interesting. And how will my new friends benefit me? Now this is a topic very much worth getting into. Just as we are guests of the Watchmaker, why don't we make ourselves comfortable in Penacone before getting to know each other more elaborately? <laughs> Sounds good. But, Miss Navigator, I must point out that if I do something about it now, the time saved is from my own effort, not a favor from you all. <sighs> but, what you said in the second half, I loved it. Friends, yes, nothing is more precious than friends. Especially a righteous trailblazer like a nameless. Going forward on this Panicone trip, I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. Looking forward to a delightful time with you all. I'm glad you've put it this way. So about the vouching... There you go, miss. Please allow her to check in on my account. I have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sunday. I will ask him to handle this matter later. Don't worry. I won't cause you any trouble. Um, but... I 
Ali. Just a moment. Oh my god. The family cannot allow guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Oh, speak of the devil. Look who's here. It's Sunday. The most handsome man in Panicum. Along with a singer renowned across the universe, Robin. I do like Robin. You said you were the most dashing person in Penicone. How interesting. I've kept you waiting, Mr. Aventurine. This way, please. Let us speak in private. Astral Express guests, please come this way and rest your feet. Wait, what? You're... Yes. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry, but are you the the singer at Salon Superstar? If I can stop one heart from breaking, that's your song, isn't it? I never thought a cutie like yourself would be a fan of mine. Oh, it really is, Robin. To run into her in person here. It is an honor to meet everyone. Are you also a member of the family on Penaconing like him? <laughs> Truth be told, I am a guest like everyone. Penaconi is my hometown, but I left when I was older. I was graciously invited this time to return and sing a song at the Charmony Festival. The person you speak of is Sunday, my senior, and one of the local leaders at Penaconi. He is also the organizer of this era's Charmony Festival. He heard you all ran into some difficulties, and sent me here to provide aid. Alas, I arrived a little later than usual. I sincerely apologize for any unpleasantness during your stay. Uh, please, be at ease. I have instructed Miss Allie to resolve the system error as soon as possible. I have also upgraded your rooms as token compensation. Please wait a moment for the hotel to... Arrange for suitable accommodation. Mr. Aventurine has an appointment with the Oak family and has checked in prior. On his behalf, I extend his apologies to everyone of the Astral Express and wish for an amicable partnership moving forward. Thank you for stepping in to resolve this matter. But are you sure about the rooms? I wouldn't want your other guests to feel we were being given preferential treatment. Please, rest assured that the family will personally undertake communications to handle this. It is only right that we, as the actual administrators, relieve you of any problems during your visit in Panacone. I apologize for taking up everyone's precious time, and we shan't keep you any longer. If you need anything else while in Panacone, the family stands ready to serve. May our dreams be beautiful and pleasant. Ugh, it's just one surprise after another. But since that Mr... Which day was he? Sunday. Since Mr. Sunday's vouched for us, I guess we can finally check in normally? Part of the family name is so strange. Uh, this is just a stage name. <clears throat> I guess. I See, that makes so sense. Too. It's <coughs> most likely some rule of Penacone's or the family's. Okay, there's no queue in the lobby now. Let's go find Miss Alley. <gasps> Esteemed guests of the Astral Express. Your check-in procedure is complete. Please forgive us for any previous inconvenience caused. This is your Dreamscape Pass. It serves as your hotel room key, as well as a directory of all the amenities and information you require at the Reverie. It even provides smart assistance. Crazy. At the same time, it is also Penacone's special, one-of-a-kind souvenir that belongs only to you. You can use the Dreamscape Pass's provided clock-in feature to record every moment of your wonderful dream, save your favorite happy bits, and create a Dreamscape scrapbook that is uniquely yours. Regarding the method of usage, 
The Dreamscape Pass will guide you through the process. I wish you all pleasant dreams in Penacony. You may take the elevator over there to reach your guest rooms. All right, let's move out. All right, let's go. Uh. Application automatically is installed. Welcome to Penacony. From the moment you set foot in the reverie, a splendid and dreamlike journey has already lifted its curtains. It is not easy to put down the hustle and bustle of real life. An extraordinary courage is also needed to make the choice to full heartedly embrace the dream. We have the confidence to promise that, thanks to the family's most meticulous management, only sweet nectar and melo uh, melodious tunes await you ahead. Oh my god. No! No, I'm not. Thank you. Uh, before you officially enter using a, the dream pool, make sure you've already read the dream advisory. Maintain a calm mind. Emotional fluctuations may cause un, uh, unexpected sensations when entering the dream. Falling, weightlessness, or pain. Ah, I see. Please enter the dream lying on your back. Do not attempt to enter dream while facing down, kneeling, or in other positions. This will minimize the risk of drowning. <clears throat> Do not ingest any hypnotics beforehand. The dreaming fluid in the dream pool is already a fast-acting sedative that does not need external pharmaceutical assistance. If you cannot enter the dream despite having soaked in the liquid for a long time, please contact the hotel staff. Please do not enter the dream naked. Your initial appearance in the dreamscape is the same as how you entered it. In order to not start at other visitors, please enter the dream only after you ensure that you are appropriately dressed. Please do not assume the identity of another individual. Family respects every guest's identity and privacy. Please do not impersonate, attack, or defame other guests in the dream. On behalf of the Oak Alfalfa, or... Yeah, Alfalfa, Nightingale, Bloodhound, and Iris families, we wish you happy dreams. During this present period, the Reverie Hotel is Golden Hour Dreams case is undergoing reservations. If you opt to enter the Golden Hour, you will still wake up in the hotel in the Dreamscape. However, you will be unable to leave the room and cannot use the hotel's regular services. We have designated a temporary process to enter the dream for guests so you may successfully land in the, go uh, in the Golden Hour. We apologize for any inconveniences may cause in the journey to the Dreamscape. What the fuck? The Reverie. More handbook pages will be unlocked as you progress to the Trailblade Mission. Record everything you encounter in these pages. Another thrilling expedition is about to begin. The start of this adventure does not take place upon White Seas of Snow or, the, or in Paris Heights of Gianco. Aside from the riddle, seeking men and women all seem to be well. Speaking of. It appears no one has asked you a certain question. What kind of trip do you enjoy? Uh, I guess uh, local tourist destinations. Uh, greatest, what a commendable go-getter you are. Traveling with you must be an experience full of adventures and excitement. Though to come to think of it, your role might then clash with March 7th. Maybe you should reconsider your personal purpose and make yourself a woman that offers novelty as their worth. You can decorate the pages of your handbook with collected stickers. During your exploration, you will come across various stickers. Use these stickers. Huh. Interesting. They are brother and sister, so I'm just going to put them next to each other. Oh, I don't have them all. Oh, okay. Well, this is interesting, to say the least. Am 
Maybe this will end up to be more than just an hour. I mean, it's already been an hour and a half <laughs> ish. It's not bookshelf. No. Is it data bank? And characters. Who's new? Sparkle, Black Swan, Acheron. Really? I've only missed missed three banners. And three banners I wouldn't have rolled on anyway. So what I've missed is basically all the rolls that you could get from those three banners. Oh, Misha. Whoever this is. Yeah, these, these two. So there hasn't been very many four stars, I see. And three banners. Yeah. Gallagher was the four star for two point one and Zuyi like? oh, Zuyi is the previous one for two point oh. Hmm, fair. Wait, my bad. Misha is two point uh, Yeah, I, I was about to say uh Zuyi she was the the banner before <clears throat> before I left the game. Akron and Black Swan. Uh yeah. But yeah, like none of none of the banners like that I missed, I'm I'm not really concerned about missing those banners. None of those characters I would have rolled for. Our rooms are down this way. Oh yeah, that's right. That's why I'm using this team. So I can walk around as Aya. This is a long hallway. Is it just me, or is this hotel too big for its own good? Oh, it is pretty big. And, uh, <clears throat> on the subject of earlier, uh, when I was talking about, like, characters I liked, then ended up didn't liking, because of, uh, certain things that I uh heard about and saw about uh i i liked sparkle's design and i was really interested in getting sparkle then i realized that she's a crazy and my interest in her plummeted <laughs> We, we were also talking earlier about characters that I actually like in this game. Uh, besides, like, Topaz, I mean, besides Zila, we got Topaz, Silver Wolf, uh, Fushuan, and Gunaifen. Uh,. And then Yukong. All good picks? Hell yeah. We're finally here. What's 
Isn't Lapland a bit too when you don't know her though? Well, how about a drink first? Penicone's soul glad is very famous. Go on. We may be thinking of the same thing. Yeah, but I learned Do you remember the invite about Sparkle received? a little more. The I think <laughs> esteemed guests are cordially than I wanted. To, to participate in our grand Lapland didn't feel as bad. That's why we're here in the first place. You recall correctly, but there was more to this invite. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penicone, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> I don't remember that part of the invite. You mean there was a, a hidden message? This is the part that intrigues me. The invite sent by the family was nothing more than a music box that, when wound, would play an accompanying tune. But the box that was sent to us was slightly... unusual. The music it played had off-key notes in the background. I recorded these dissonant notes and they were a perfect match with the gravity wave frequency when the express made its warp jump. Mm. Also, the express engine's spatial curvature was its encryption key. So when we jumped, call method regularly used by the nameless. That's how we got sent it into the other world. Certain. It may be a masked fool's trap. From the execution itself, the Riddlers, or Inquisition spirits, could have done this themselves. When did you discover this? When we were handling that Law Fu Stellaron matter. I told Pom Pom about it first thing. It's he no had plenty of time. The <laughs> ambassador also mentioned this watchmaker. The invite he received must also have contained a hidden message, and it seems like he decoded it. There's something else on my mind. When the invite was brought up, that family leader mentioned being one of the actual administrators of Penacone, and that it was their duty to relieve us of any problems. In hindsight, there was more to that statement. He also had Miss Robin with him. I'm no singer, but her voice sounded a little strange. Would a singer Besides, really I'd rather roll for Robin. Wasn't in top shape? Are you saying you suspect that the family did not send the invite and is hiding something from us? It's possible. The fact that the family sent out invites to the other factions is already unusual. And your discovery confirms that there could be a third So she better involved. release. <laughs> I take back what I said. This event is becoming more interesting with each passing second. Why didn't you tell the others? We shouldn't interfere if this is just an internal affair of Penicone or the family. But you said so yourself. This could concern the Trailblaze. Well, I did. Which is why... Before we set off, I told March 7th and Don Hung about this. <laughs> so I was the only one kept in the dark then. <laughs> uh, I too just found out about the invite. That's because you were zonked out the whole ride. No one had the chance to tell you. It wasn't my fa invite. fault. What is the purpose of gathering all of the factions into Penicone? And why does the family choose to remain silent about their knowledge of this? There are too many unanswered questions. We must use the utmost caution before we go deeper. Right now, let's just focus on the conductor's request. We'll collect intel while enjoying this wonderful vacation 
Tenaconi is, after all, a famed resort of the cosmos, not many get a chance to even visit in their lifetime. Head back to your rooms, get some rest, and prepare to enter the dreamscape. Oh, you know what I should do real quick? The faster the progress, the greater the chance of errors. There we go. That's all I wanted to do. It's time to head back to my room. I wanted my ticket. Before entering the dream, I should probably talk to the rest. Speak with the crew. Will of preservation. Whoops. The decor in here is a little uh, loud for my taste. So this is how astral high society does things, huh? Watchmaker. They say he's a historically important figure in Penaconi, and tales of his life have been handed down over generations. Such tales encourage believers to come to the planet of festivities to pursue their dreams. He's an interesting fellow, that's for sure, and his legacy still has the power to draw people in. But how and why he's involved with that invite, and why his name popped up in the encrypted message allegedly sent by a nameless, I've got no leads for now. The family. The family believes in the harmony, and their altruism is well known across the stars, a trait that is intimately tied to Panacone's stability and prosperity. But some factions have always been wary of the family, uh, suspecting that their benevolence and eloquence belie an ulterior motive. So far, it seems to me that the family treats their guests with courtesy, so... I don't think we need to worry about that for now. The it's dream, a dream journey is divided into 12. The pasts that we chase may be stored in these places. Hmm. Past the guest room's dream pool is the real Panacone. Let's get ready to move out. <laughs> Pleasant dreams. <laughs> guys are terrible guards. What's wrong? Not turning in? Can't find your room? Or do you have something on your mind? Dream dream. The dream Pentacony is divided into 12 individual dreamscapes. I've heard that the destinations vary mm. for different people when they first enter the dream. As for me, I look forward to the moment of scorch sand. Its wild winds, taverns, and festive choices have more of a nameless trailblaze vibe. The moment of morning dew is also a decent choice. I can use that chance to visit the family. And the Watchmaker. One can't discuss the planet of festivities without mentioning the Watchmaker. Penacone's household name and figure. Fortune, fame, status... He built everyone's futures with his bare hands and became the symbol of dreams. But the veracity of these stories remains untraceable. Many have their own opinions on the Watchmaker's origin and past, and there are even some who suspect he's a conceptual construct of the family. For now, I do not think this invite is linked to the Watchmaker. His legacy, it sounds more like a marketing hook to drum up more traffic, if nothing else. I believe it. Uh, an IPC ambassador who knows more than he lets on. A silver-tongued businessman. A flamboyant and debonair aristocrat. He could be all of them. 
My instincts tell me he's much more than meets the eye. Before the dust settles, we should maintain amicable relations with all camps, while keeping our guards up. Uh, that's you enough. must be exhausted from everything that's happened so far. Even if you're trailblazing, you mustn't forget to relax. Good night, and sweet dreams. Where's March 7th? Has she returned to her room already? I wouldn't doubt it. Why isn't there a but the chest is important. Will of preservation. God damn it. Oof, beautiful lady, beautiful guest. Famous Galaxy Ranger recipe. A mojito. Are you new? Now that I rush to enter the dream mode, please feel free. Small wise, if you just say it. Drink for a story. Guarantee my stories will satisfy your curiosity, and of course, if you have splendid stories in exchange for drinks, I'd be delighted to hear them. On the house, don't forget to come often. What do these do? Resist burn. All allies lose energy. See, now this one's decent. Why isn't there a Oh. Whoops, my bad. I can't sleep from all the excitement, huh? I can't wait to experience the dream world. Where are you thinking about going? Sounds good. You know, it's weird. Well, noticed about Robin. it too. About how Miss Robin's voice weary. sounded somewhat weary. I can't quite put my finger on it. But it was different than usual. I wouldn't Could know. she be tired out from her cosmic concert tour? Insisting on performing under such circumstances. Miss Robin is a superstar among celebrities. About the event. Here I was thinking of some good old relaxation, but nope. This event is a wild ride. The various factions deciphering the riddle, a power struggle of past legacies. It feels like we're in a live action detective saga. Who knows? Maybe we'll even witness classic scenarios like family feuds, tragic losses, worlds torn apart, espionage situations. Rivers running red with blood! Stuff like that! This is simply too thrilling! Jesus. Quite the active imagination. <laughs> Just kidding! How could that be possible? Right. Uh, don't worry. Captain Himeko will have our backs if things go wrong. Let's just make the most of it all while we're here. Is there anything you want me to check out, Saki? Like while while I'm playing the game today? Because I I got forced to play it, and now uh, I'm in the uh, situation of 
the story is now interesting. Oh, Why is my room door open? And I might want to play it a, hmm? more is... often again against my better judgment. Also, get out of my room. <laughs> we meet again. Uh, we meet again, friend. I should really say that and not try to push him out. <laughs> That's right, pal. <laughs> Calm down. I'm just here to soak in the festive vibe. This may be your room now, but half a system hour ago, it was still mine. A lucky block number, a lucky oh. floor, a lucky room number. You have no idea how much I went through to book this precious space. And now I've given it to you. Treasure it well, friend. You're the one who transferred it? Of course. What, you thought the family acted simply out of their own goodwill? Pentagoni's a true blue land of dreams. How many across the stars would spend half their lives just to acquire an admission ticket into the reverie? I mean, think about the type of people who can even afford to stay here. If it wasn't for my brilliant plan, you think the family would offend those Wigs just to sate the paltry whims of an unsought guest such as yourself. So sit down and let's have a chat. With everything said and done, I think I deserve at least this much, right? Where you are. Ah, cut into the chase. <laughs> I like that. Simply put, my friend, I need your help. You may or may not know this, but Panacone's far murkier than it seems. The family's eyes are everywhere, but you get the drift. My goal is simple. Help the IPC retrieve some things that belong to them in the first place. If you agree, when this is done, you will stand to reap great rewards, as well as the preservation's protection. It's clear you're not just one of the crowd. You possess a distinct quality, so magnetic that it could sway the outcome of any game. That power, you really don't wish to use it. Or, you don't want to be rid of it. Why not? Miss Delaron, have I hit the nail on the head? Hmm. I, I missed him saying Stellar on. <laughs> I know now. You don't have to answer me now. Sit on it for a while. When the time is right, I will look for you again. Of course, you can confer with your colleagues as well, or go as far as to use me in turn. I welcome that notion, because it will also show me your true value. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end, so I hope that friends don't let me down. I cannot make this decision on my own. I already said there's no rush to give me an answer. Because no matter what happens, the outcome will remain the same. Uh, 
Oh yes, before I go, let's play another game. A simple game to get to know each other better. You just have to guess which hand the chip is hiding in. It'll help me get a better grasp on your personality and the way you do things. Left or right? Get ready. I'm about to reveal the answer. No? I didn't get your answer. Oh, but that's fine, because... Friend, the game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. No reason to choose otherwise. <sighs> And no other choice. Hello. Huh? What are you doing in my room? Your room? <laughs> well played, friend. You haven't been in Pentacone long, but you already know how to rope people into your car. Oh, don't misunderstand. That was a mere reminder. I already don't like him. <laughs> with plenty of unsavory characters. Don't forget to stay on your toes. Like, keeping your door closed. <laughs> I'll make my exit now. Have a pleasant stay. <laughs> Have you met somewhere? Why haven't you left? <laughs> Why haven't you left? Uh, this is my this room. This is my room. Have, have I come to the wrong room? <sighs> this can't be. Before I said anything, I even made sure that I had the right room number. Huh? Do I have the wrong wing or even the wrong fog? <sighs> I'm sorry, this hotel is huge and... The hallways all look the same. It's easy to get lost in here. I also have a strange feeling about this because the muttering is red. Anyway, as long as you're all right, I should return to my room too. Oh, this is my room. If I come to the wrong room, this can't be before I said it. Anything, I even made sure that I had the right room number. Do I have the wrong wing or the wrong door? She is but so cryptic. Before I go, can I ask you a question? You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude. But I wish to know. Have we met somewhere before? Oh, deja vu. This may sound embarrassing because I would sometimes forget stuff I really shouldn't have from past experiences. It's just a habit of mine. Don't mind me. This is your name, isn't it? Pleased to meet you. <laughs> you forget. That man mentioned it before he left. My memory's not very good, but it's not so bad that I can't remember details from just minutes ago. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. We will likely meet again. Lastly, a gentle reminder. There are people who possess unwavering resolution and faith, even unto death, and they do not wield such conviction for good. And on that man's face, I see such a similar expression. One who wears a blade must use it to cut, eventually. And when a gambler has nothing to lose on the table, he will surely go for broke and bet it all on a final hand. That is all I can say. I thought you should know all this before making a choice. Goodbye. Acheron left. Strange. I can't shake off this odd feeling I have. Forget it. It's taken a while, but at least I can finally enter the dream. Hmm. 
Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> it didn't take long for a reunion. Hmm. Sorry, can you point me in the direction of the lobby? No. All these hallways really look the same to me. Your memory can't be that bad. Seems like it's over. Time to work the dream pool according to the dreamscape passes instructions. Akron is so weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know where to get the stickers. You've already showed me. What an interesting name to a song. Please step into the dream pool and let go of the sorrows and worries of life. You approach the dream pool and hear the sweet voice of a female singer coming from all around the room, fragrance permeating the air. Together, these two element, elements envelop you in their embrace. The scent is sweet profound and luxurious, reminiscent of ripened fruits and a distant ocean painted by the hues of, of the setting sun. Perhaps it's time to enter the dream. Sure, why not? Curl your body, laying down in the center of the dream pool. The icy liquid rises above your waist. The gentle female voice continues to whisper in your ear, accompanied by the tolling of evening bells. Sound might not be working on Twitch side, or perhaps just my side. It seems like it's kind of laggy, but it might be Twitch server. Uh, everything seems fine on my end. Like, per personally, everything everything on my, my end is just fine. Nothing's wrong. I will exit Discord just in case. Because that does take a lot of power from my computer to do Discord as well. Everything good? Sounds better? Just want to make sure before I continue. Uh, I'm gonna hope that everything is alright now. 
The wild wind rustles through the barren plains while nightingales, seagulls, swans, and ravens add their symphony to the choir. Pendulum swings, you wonder what dream you'll delve into and slowly drift into drowsiness. Ooh, another cinematic. Please relax. Feel the ebb and flow of your body. Seems really cool, Just by the way. Focus on breathing and imagine a hotel of dream. Imagine uh, a, dream. a hotel of, of a dreamscape. What is happening? Uh oh. That's not good. Uh, what is it, Ratio? Why the long face? Hey, I just realized. Where's that handsome bust of yours? You're late. By four minutes and 16 seconds. You better have solved the mystery of Akavili's fall. Otherwise, I suggest not tangling with the nameless. <laughs> you mean you don't believe me when I say I truly wish to befriend them? Glamorous people do not make friends. Fun fact, the Atini Peacock boasts one of the universe's more jarring songs, and your choice of attire is somewhat peacock-esque. <laughs> it seems this peacock is short of a feather or two. The family's been rummaging through your things, haven't they? Yeah, by that gray-suited fellow. All the cash gifts and the box containing the cornerstones. Huh? Where are you going? Back home. To tell the corporation that some idiot ruined everything. <laughs> it's nothing more than a few rocks. Why so serious? <laughs> Who cares if they're gone? Without that aventurine stone, you're nothing more than a doomed Sigonian thrall, sentenced to die by the IPC. Or is that serial number on your neck a cherished memento from the Amber Lore? <laughs> you're funny. I'll give you that. It appears our erudite friend has done his homework. It's my job. How would a gambler wrest Panacone back from the IPC otherwise? <laughs> Don't worry, Doctor. I have my ways. The family fears interference from the IPC, hence their constant intervention. Or to play devil's advocate, perhaps Panacone might have always been a ruse under the guise of the Harmony. If you ask me, that invite is nothing but a self-planted diversion. A red herring. YouTube se side seems fine, but Twitch off. Anyways, have a good Maybe rest of streaming. Of B -day. Something big Thank you. The Festival. I, I assume you're heading out, so. Or someone see you around. The invite, and they acquiesced I appreciate you the coming in to watch. Well, regardless, be it the family or the watchmaker's legacy... As long as they're all useful to me. Get to the point. What's your plan? <laughs> well, no need to expand on that now. It's not yet time to reveal my trump card. <laughs> Damned gambler. Any true collaboration <clears throat> demands trust. <laughs> Did that notion somehow escape your Sigonian upbringing? <laughs> then, do you trust me? That depends on you. Hmm, so you don't trust me either. Now that was easy, wasn't it? Also, I didn't go to school, and my parents didn't teach me any of that. A pity. They left before they could impart any life lessons. I did not mean to offend. I'm not offended. But they did teach me that friends are weapons of the Abjans. Even under the watchful eye of the Harmony, we need as many friends as we can get. 
Let's see. The Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express have already made contact. The Annihilation Gang, I can't really count on them. The Knights of Beauty haven't given their answer. And as for the bunch at the tavern... Speaking of which, I ran into a woman just now who introduced herself as a Galaxy Ranger. The whole conversation felt off. Help me look into her. Huh? <laughs> well, you don't really disdain me that much, do you? Well, seems like I'm on my own again. Good. I don't really like you either. <laughs> so this is the dreamscape? The atmosphere here creeps me out, and what was that weird noise just now? Good question. One sec. All right, my cake is ready now, so I will be back after cake for real this time.
Ah, I am back. Cake has been devoured. Yum, yum. Uh, note? Watch Raker's advice. It's the impossible can also happen in dreams. Find it, then you shall be granted an audience. This way! Can you see me? Over here! Please, come this way! I thought I heard a familiar voice. Can, can I go that way? Is it coming from the painting? Instead? Unopenable from the side. Can't even. Eh. Oh. Here we go. Ah, you're here. Wonderful. Oh, I. I thought you wouldn't notice me. Oh, I noticed. Welcome to the Gallery of Thoughts. You can think of this as the entrance to the Golden Hour. I'm here to provide guidance to our guests. <clears throat> we meet again. Huh? You remember me? I'm so glad. This is a temporary interchange, so it looks a little rundown. The reverie in the dreamscape is currently undergoing a revamp. I apologize for any unpleasantness in your stay. But if you enter the golden hour, I sure <coughs> your troubles will dissipate in an instant. Bless me. What happened to the reverie? Oh, you're asking about the reverie in the dreamscape, right? I'm not sure exactly either. I'm sorry. What is golden hour? You've perhaps read about it in your dreamscape past, but I can explain it one more time. Golden Hour is one of the twelve dreamscapes in Penicone, and its time coincides with midnight. Here, the dream's time is forever stuck in the moment before midnight. Tomorrow will not come, and this night of revelry will never end. Uh, but that doesn't mean that time is stopped in the dream. To avoid any physical or mental burden on guests, time in the dream has been synced with realities, so don't worry. I just picked up a note. note. Did you find it in the room? It wasn't trash left behind by the previous guest, was it? No. It was my mistake. I failed to tidy up properly and caused an inconvenience for you. I'm truly sorry. Misha doesn't know about it then. You just How go do I get through the golden hour? Reach golden hour? I wish you an unforgettable dream. Well, thank you. Really small place. Hmm. Turned around to look at me go. Time to hop off the world. Damn it. Behind this door is the real Penacone. I'm looking forward to it. Oh. That must be the real Penacone. Hmm. Seems boring. Oh, uh, you mean you mean inside the door. Got it.
Uh-oh. Oh, this is on purpose. Or not. <clears throat> oh, really? Uh, Dragon Ball Z. Fall didn't hurt at all. <laughs> well, you are in the dreamscape after all. It seems like our guest here hasn't gotten used to the transition. Fret not. Feeling a sense of weightlessness is, is humongous for, for a dreamscape. Robin, please guide our friend in getting more comfortable with the new environment. Leave it to me. There's a slight nod to her brother and locks her emerald gaze with yours. She smiles and you see ripples shimmering in the depths of her t uh, lake green eyes, followed by a mighty vortex emerging from the depths of the pool. Your vision dims as your body dissolves, becoming one with the fluidity of the time space. You resonate with and become attuned to the screen fusion of frequencies. Your heart drums leading the symphony. Don't worry. Just relax. You'll be feeling like your normal self in no time. Inhale. Now exhale. Instinct compels. Oh. Instinct compels and the st stagnant fluid in your chest begins to flow again. Gentle warmth emanates from within, saturating every inch of your being. Your melodies slow down, fade away like a lullaby. Seven colored illusion delicately caresses the top of your head and closes your eyes. Its movements tender and compassionate. You feel contentment and drift into a deep slumber. You open your eyes and feel a vitality like no other. The difficulty you were experiencing a moment earlier feels like a distant memory. You should be feeling fully in control now. <laughs> Welcome to Panacone. What was that sound just now? It was a song with a harmonic tune. Relax. Just did some tuning on you with the resonance of the harmony to allow you to control your limbs freely in the dreamscape. Essentially, the dream of Panacone is a world formed by memoria. Only by fully understanding its nature can you move freely within it. It's like learning to swim. It's easy to sink at first when you aren't accustomed to the water. But once you get the hang of it, you can float and swim on the surface effortlessly. Does that mean I can levitate? Well, theoretically you can, but it would be very difficult to pull off. After all, we don't really have an in-depth understanding of the Memoria yet. Unless you're one of the memo keepers of the Garden of Recollection, it can be difficult at first to manipulate the Memoria as you wish. But once you've been tuned by the Harmony, you can use the same laws of physics from the real world to understand how the dream world works. Hmm. Oh, oops. <laughs> I've fallen into my professional habits again. I just can't seem to shake off this urge to be a know-it-all. <laughs> Don't mind him. He's always like that. Please, enjoy the beautiful dreamscape the family has built for everyone. We shall take our leave. Have a blast! I'm starting to noti notice something's up with her voice, too. We can send messages even in the dream. I'm there. Got in touch with Himiko and Yang. They went to different dreamscapes. At the moment of death, planning to check out the auction. 
a pain to meet up against, so why don't we split up for now? Golden Hour? I heard the Dreamscape sales store is super famous. Can you please check it out for me? If it's really fun, then I'll head over there next. Huh. Dreamscape sales store. Should I visit it? Eh, might as well. This place is bustling. There are so many people living in the Dreamscape. Oh, I see. I wonder if I can get run over. Ah, oh, so that's uh the money stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I I want this. Stop that. Oh, a sticker. Wait, did that billboard just move? Yeah, they did. Oop, chest. You know, I should probably just pop those anyway. Probably has some materials that I don't have yet. Only found in this area, most likely. According to the map, this is the Dreamscape sales store. Is that a giant eyeball? Wait. What? Where? Oh. It does indeed look like a giant floating eyeball. I didn't get any more stickers for this. I guess I'll come back to it. What stands before you is the golden hour? First impressions. Hard to describe. One interesting remark you're a thinker, I can tell. Don't make quick judgments. Why don't you discard your complex psychological defenses and throw yourself into the embrace of the city of festivities for a little while? Though do remember to keep some wits about you, lest the city swallows you all. How interesting. Oh, I can make these smaller and turn them. I didn't know that. Dr. Edward. <laughs> Welcome to Green Scale. How do you know who I am? It's the magic of psychoanalysis, madam. Dr. Edward is happy to assist you. Here's where you get to experience all sorts of fascinating dreamscapes. From the top-notch productions of Clark Studios to private donations. <laughs> we have it all. If I'm not mistaken, this is your first visit to Pentacle, isn't it? No. <laughs> is he? Not really. The doctor Ed will provide the best service you can find in helping you purchase your first dreamscape and indulge in an exclusive and marvelous dreamland journey. <laughs> and that's the end of my analysis. 
I'm sure you'll be a fan of this ring. It's a contribution from an anonymous donor. It is said to contain the memory of the fallen Eon Akifili. I can assure you that this dream power is perfect for you. Is it really? Edward does not make any guarantees regarding the authenticity of dream level content. Dreams are just dreams. So enjoy them. Well, let's begin. Please close your eyes and rest your forehead against the dream. Sure. Trailblazer from the Astral Express. Do you plead guilty? My act, really? I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream bubble. In the dream bubble, you will be living through another person's past memories. You will experience what the original owner of the memory once experienced. If any details are missing from the dream bubble, your subconscious will make up for it by substituting the missing content with something similar. I see. The sins you've committed are beyond pardon. But I respect every individual's right to carry out volunteer work. Give this place a thorough cleaning! So this isn't actually pom-pom. My apologies. When I received this dream bubble, some of the audio tracks were missing. And perhaps even the memorial is unable to transmit the voice of Akivelli. Hmm. However, I can make some adjustments to the dream bubble to improve your experience. But then if you can choose anyone's voice for Akivelli, as long as it's a voice you're familiar with. I'm able to replicate it from your subconscious. Does it have to be a voice of someone I'm close to? Yes. Unless you're willing to accept a very unpleasant listening experience. Well, please, make a decision. I'll do my best to fulfill your needs. Who else is there? That that is interesting. You can, you can choose uh, the males lines. I'm go with Mika. I'm rendering it as we speak. The replication is complete. Now you can enjoy an enhanced dreamscape experience. Do you, as well as the other passengers, take responsibility for the following malicious conduct? You rode snowmobiles into the Tychian Stadium and disrupted the match, causing the match to be suspended. Because of you, 20 trailblazers were forced to repair the severely damaged exterior of the stadium for three months without pay. Do you plead guilty to this charge? <sighs> yes. I plead guilty. Okay, okay. Himiko, what the hell? <laughs> oh, Jesus. And splurged half an Amber Eris crew budget on 250 Nose Walker Cubs. I uh, might have made a mistake. Where they were left to breed and multiply uncontrollably, causing other carriages to be filled with sewage. Do you plead guilty to this charge? Mm, yes, I plead guilty. Himiko, stop. Why are you, you doing that? Took the last serving of the express special in the fridge. I was 
One is clearly a result of your own doing. But I do admit to consuming the last serving of the Express Special. Ahem! Don't get carried away just yet! This is only the beginning of your list of culinary offenses! There are cases of entire entries disappearing from the Express Databank! Plants in the parlor car being watered with soul glass! Disrupting the conductor's rest with noise! And a break-in to the conductor's exclusive snack vault! Uh... Please have to do that to you. I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream book. And that's not even half the list. There are a total of 46 cases of malicious conduct. Do you admit to being the culprit in every case? <sighs> Sorry. Why are you doing that? Nimiko, stop! Stop! Why are you doing that? <laughs> that guy who blew up the train into two pieces. That's all for the content of this dream, brother. How was your experience? It's quite fascinating. <laughs> this dream bubble aligns with what you desire in your subconscious. If you're interested in experiencing the dream bubble again, you can purchase it with credits. So that first dream bubble for free was just a sales pitch? This dream bubble is indeed pricey. Still, please give it some consideration. Well, are you going to buy it? Sure. Hundred thousand credits? That is chumps change. Thank you. <laughs> Hope to see you next time. Oh, right. As this is your first time using the dream bubble, here's a sticker for you. You can use it to decorate your dreamscape past and commemorate your unique trip to Pentacle. Yay. I was hoping I would find some clues about the nameless up here. Well, can't expect it to be that easy. One can try. She went that way. Get her! What's going on? What's all the commotion about? Don't even think about running away. You stole away. Oh, she's cute. Sorry for bothering you. Please, I need your help. Mm, who are you? What happened, and who are you? Hey, look! She has an accomplice. Ha! Good work! Now we can nab them both in one go! I'm sorry, what? Huh? Who will it be? 
Naughty child. Nap time. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing! Naughty child, nap time. Lance of the red. <laughs> That's enough, boys. Uh, sir, sir, what's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? Huh? Who? Who's this? Uh, don't you know him? Look at his brown hair and gray vest. Uh, he's the officer sent here by the family to maintain order at the Charmony Festival. I. Sir, the thing is, we're trying to apprehend a stowaway. And that young lady there looks very suspicious. We're sure she's the one. That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair, and you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that even make sense? She's our guest. <sighs> well, just get out of my way, and I'll take care of this. Yes, yes sir. Sorry for all the trouble you went through back there. I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound family. And those idiots are some young Bloodhounds I've been training. Because of their youth and inexperience, they mistook an honored guest of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. I'd like to offer my sincerest apology to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. It was a silver-haired guy. The Bloodhound family are guards of the Dreamscape. We're in charge of security here, and our duties include arresting people who try to enter our world illegally. We got a tip that some criminals were planning to take advantage of the festivities around the Charmony Festival to sneak into Penacone. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are likely many shady characters lurking around. <sighs> Don't worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? <gasps> Thanks. Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. Just part of the job. <laughs> I need to get going. If you need help, you can reach out to me through the young bloodhounds in this area. I wish you an enjoyable experience in this land of dreams. Big one. If it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. Have it up. Thank you so much. By the way, I've just noticed. You're a nameless, right? Is this your first time here on Penacony? Wonder who her VA is. Um how'd you know? You have the Astral Express badge on you. I saw it on the big screen once. I also know that you guys often travel around different places in the cosmos. Did the family invite you here? Uh, I'd be happy to show you around. 
Although the bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway, I'm actually a local. My name is Firefly, and I'm from the Iris family. I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. When there are no acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you luck on that. I happen to need one. Glad to hear that. After all, you just did me a huge favor. Over here. It's not a bad idea to get to know about this place. Hmm? Noise. All right. We'll follow her for a bit and then uh, we'll swap games. The first stop most people head to as soon as they arrive in the Dreamscape is the OT Mall. The Dreamscape sales stores here is super famous. There are also stores that sell luxury goods, Jeez. apparel, trendy toys, and even cars. As long as you have enough alfalfa coins, you can buy anything you fancy. Alfalfa? Items purchased in the Dreamscape can also be brought into reality through an extra service. Unfortunately, the transfer of automobiles to the real world is not available at the moment. You can come back for them next time. Just outside the mall is the plaza! Follow me! I'll buy you a nice meal. Well, I appreciate it. Good girl, Firefly. Will of preservation. God! I'm always pressing that button. There we go. That's what I wanted. Synthesis material. Sure. Thermal gel. Synthesis material. Molar. I guess all these are just synthesis materials. I'll just take them all. Melee heals. Oh, this is just a healing item. Newspaper is a healing item. We're here. Hey, have you ever heard of this saying that goes, "In a dream, hunger is the most precious spice." Well, you can find all kinds of local delicacies here: clocky pizza, oat cake rolls, alfalfa salad, and the classic Soul Glad. Feel free to pick up anything you like. Today it's my treat. Uh, very nice of you. <laughs> You're welcome. Twenty K Firefly budget. Oh my god. Panikani's most iconic dish. Take your pick, it's my treat. Small chance to select the wrong target when using abilities against enemy targets. Ooh, the oat cake rolls.
just max HP. We'll just do that. Are you done ordering? Then I'll pay up. I love their oat cake rolls. I get one from here every day. Does that get expensive? Well, that's why I only have one per day. <laughs> Let's walk while we eat. It's time to head to the next stop. Give him a kid's meal. Wait, 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 wait. Can I buy with my money now? I had a close call with a robbery yesterday. I was standing behind the counter when someone shouted, This is a stick up. I was so sorry that I even spat out my soda, but guess what? When I turned around, nobody was there. Can you guess why? Invisible. But Pesci, holding a knife until I stepped out from behind the counter, he said, Good afternoon, give me all your money. You don't really look intimidating. You're right, I should find a place where I can actually harm you. I'm not think Harry using that table over there, but as soon as he stood still, he passed out. Can you guess why? You're starving? Fear of heights. Don't have any prejudice, including Papeshi. On the contrary, I have great respect for them to the point where I think they should rule this world. There's even famous theory that there's a similar... Uh, that shares a similar perspective. Do you know what it is? The principle of leverage? Law of the minimum. Capacity of the barrel is determined by the shortest stave. Ha ha ha. Yeah, just, just, just give me your shit. These okay crows are actually pretty good. So we're going to grab those. The burgers are pretty good, seeming. Reduces speed. Regenerates energy, sure. Defense of all allies. Max HP increase. Attack increase. What about this thing? Crit rate. Sure, why not? No reason not to. I have money out the wazoo. This is the luxury store I told you about earlier. If we keep going, we'll reach Glax Avenue, which is the road to Golden Hour. Damn it. Wanted to try to get hit by a car. Over here. Follow me. Please come this way. Let me show you something interesting. Hold up. of Clocky, Penicone's famous cartoon character. I see. It's the oldest and most famous animation from Penicone. It follows the adventurous life of Clocky and his friends in the town of Dreamville. To date, over 10,000 episodes have aired. <sighs> wow. I know, right? Isn't he adorable? By the way, do you know that Clocky's design is said to be inspired by none other than the legendary watchmaker? Watchmaker? I can't believe you haven't heard of him. 
He was a legendary tycoon in the history of Penacony. The founder of the dreamscape. The man who turned dreams into reality. There are different stories out there about the watchmaker's origin. Some said he was a traveling merchant from beyond the sky. Some claim that he was exiled to Penacony as a prisoner. And some speculate that he wasn't even a real person. Just a symbol. The true story is anyone's guess. But everyone aspires to emulate his success and be the next watchmaker. As his inspiring story became known across the cosmos, those with a dream flocked to Penacony in droves. They held feast after feast, eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. Everyone in Penacony knows this name. The cartoon character Clocky is portrayed as reckless and full of hot air. But I believe the real watchmaker was a nameless. After all, creating the dreamscape sounds like just the kind of thing a trailblazer would do. Hmm. Hold on. If the watchmaker really was a nameless, wouldn't that make him your predecessor? Would you like to take a picture with him? I'm allergic to camera lenses. You're going to charge me a lot for just taking the thing. No. Thanks. My pleasure. Here, give me your phone. Hear a pitiful cry for help. The cry is coming from the clocky's eyelashes. What's that? It looks like there's something on clocky's face. Help! Help me! Pull me out! Help me! Something stuck there. Are begging to be pulled out, which feels a little too much like a dream. Remember. You want a photo with him? Sure. Please give me your phone. Yeah, we'll do that first. It's done. It came out great. You're very photogenic. Took a nice pick with cocky. But the eyelashes are still begging proud. After this we'll we'll stop. Yank. Whoa. Okay. Uh, the adorable chirp, the bird flew, flies away. Before it left, it seemed to offer some kind of reward. The main thing, you need to go to the tree first. Perhaps you can meet it again there, see what exactly the nice thing is. Is there something wrong with Clocky's statue? Why did you suddenly jump just now? Can I actually jump in this way? Color me surprised. Really? You jumped just now. It was really sudden, too. Well, <laughs> if you're okay, let's move on to the next stop, which is just a stone's throw away from here. Please follow me. Sure. Checked off the list. Oh, my dream is right before my eyes. Is a majestic hall of art? Can you see that building in the distance? That's the famous Grand Theater, another great landmark of Penacony. That's a pretty unique shape, doesn't he? In the real world, it was originally the central prison of Astana. The fa 
family renovated it in the dreamscape and transformed it into the glorious Penacone Grand Theater. Since the moment it was built, the Grand Theater has graced the entire dreamscape with its rendition of the Odes of Harmony. During the Once in an Era Charmony Festival, family members will gather at the theater to welcome the harmonious choir that blesses Penacone with everlasting peace. And here we are, the best viewing spot in all of Golden Hour. Look, there's even a telescope here. When the Charmony Festival arrives, remember to be here early if you want to get a seat. Sounds good. Next. Oh. <laughs> I want to meet your gaze in abysmal darkness. I open the abyss and stares back at you. Meet it. Gazes back, gazes back, and if you continue to meet it, eye closes shyly, only darkness remains in the telescope. Run me over. Yes! Rules are made to be broken. Ah, uh, I did it. Violate traffic rules and get hit by a vehicle in Pentagon. <laughs> I had to. Unlock the recipe. Unlock the recipe. City that never sleeps in the pleasure drenched maze you can uh, find yourself fortunate to encounter encounter a local guide you're unable to judge if firefly is an adequate guide or not but you feel uh, we can be friends as a firefly you think you can become our friend you trust your insight into others and believe you have the charisma required to make every young maid you encounter in your journeys into a persistent per Presence in your life. Batch select. Wait, there's more? Note sticker? Upon returning to reality, many guests are required to retake their driver's license sets. For those who have experienced the gold now, they can easily understand the reason behind this requirement. Why is there still more? Oh, sticker collection. There's more in here too. Holy crap. Forgot about these.
There's still more. Oh, notes again. About happiness. She is populated by people, though none of them young from all walks of life, wasting the access of happiness they have in the realm of reality. There we go. Just a bit more, and then we'll stop. That place up ahead is Idean Park. Everything here is themed around Soulglad. It's a little crowded, so make sure you stay close to me. the largest park in Golden Hour. It represents the soda culture of Penacony. The gigantic soda bottle houses the headquarters of the Soulglad Enterprise. Soulglad is said to have originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. Invented by a man named Susa, it was thus called the Susa Juice. Ideen, an interstellar traveling merchant, saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. Hmm. Ideon then carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soulglad. He also pioneered the school of thought known as Syrupism, in which he promoted the consumption of Soulglad as a new kind of lifestyle. And just like that, he created a commercial miracle. Did you know? One of the ingredients in the original recipe for Susa juice, known as Dreamleaf, has gone extinct. That means the only place you can get a taste of Apocal Soulglad is in Penacony's dreamscape. Now, Interesting. This is also, the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. She abruptly freezes. In that f fleeting moment, you notice a cautious sif shift in the girl's gaze, piercing directly into your brow, or perhaps somewhere behind you. What are you looking at? Firefly returns to her warm and gentle disposition. Thanks for no one. Let me show you around. Now, this is also the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. Was she breaking the fourth wall there? Or is someone following us? See these musical instruments playing themselves with no human performer in Penacony? Many objects and facilities have gained self-awareness due to the influence of the Memoria. After being tamed by the family, some of them formed the Sweet Dreams troupe to provide entertainment for guests. Be careful, though. Sometimes these animated objects can be affected by dangerous emotions or memories, and, uh, transform into the destructive Dream Jolt troupe. <laughs> if you ever run into them, go ask the security guards nearby for help. Hey, uh -huh. there's a flight attendant over there. Let me get some ID and tokens for you. With those, you'll be able to try any of the attractions here that you fancy. Hi there. This is my friend's first visit to Pinnacle. May I get some ID and tokens for her? Of course. Please show me your dreamscape pass. Name. Here's your dreamscape pass and tokens. Be sure to keep a good hold of them. Have a good time. How many tokens are there? Ten. You may now enjoy the attractions in Penacony to the fullest. Uh, until you run out. Thanks. <laughs> Let's try out some of the games nearby. Our goal is to use all the tokens. Let's live it to the fullest. Should we try first? Since this is your first time here, I say we start with the easiest games. The dreamy slots and lucky wheel are pretty straightforward. 
So I assume, yeah, this is Dreamweave slots. Only doing it once. Huh? Wow! You won something on your first attempt. Impressive. All allies take less damage. Oh, nice. Lucky wheel. twice so far. You keep playing. I'll go and get some drinks. Wait, what? No, no, come back. There's no way I'm this lucky. Okay, not as lucky as I... Oh, the optional quest is to find Firefly. This is the one! She said the objective was to use them all. Oh, are, oh, these are the only options here. Might as well. What's taking Firefly so long? She's heading toward the bar. Just give me the top prize, please. Damn it. I just want that top prize. Whatever it may be. I've used up all the tokens. Time to meet Firefly. Hmm. Better than the other eh? options. What is this? Um, material. Cool. Please do not hit the entertainment facility. <laughs> Open the lid for a prize, it's me. But the sewer's filled with soul glad if it turns out it's just water, what a bummer. Who would have thought downing 40 bottles of so glad back to back would feel like this? It feels absolutely amazing. I have to note this feeling down you over there. Do you want to join the party? You don't look so good. Don't worry about me, I'm just a little overexcited. Inside a dream drinking soul glad doesn't harm your body. Plus, I'm Danzy. I'm Golden Hour's most legendary party goer. You think a bit of fun is enough to take me out? Can tell by my Papeshi entourage that I'm the biggest party going around. There's no form of entertainment in Pentagon. If you're willing to become my fan or my party, 
partner. To be more precise, I share my endless hiding tokens with you. Alright. Ride or die party. Drink this, let us embrace. Thank you. D uh, don't don't mind me, Firefly. I totally just didn't get more tokens because uh, I just want the top prizes to be off this list. Enhancement material. Darn. Will of preservation. God damn it, wrong button again. God damn it, wrong button. How many times am I going to push that button? I'm not even going to pick that up. I'm going to use this as a chance to see if... Wow. Damn it. This rate, I'll never get those two items. Please do not hit the insect. Yoink. I fire black. Did you have fun? Penagoni's golden hour is pretty amazing, isn't it? Sound a bit sad. I'm not sad. It's just that this dream is so loving and forgiving. It's fast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. <laughs> I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It was willing to accept me. Even though I didn't belong here. I've grown very fond of this place. And that makes me want to... <laughs> Share it with others. That's how I feel about like Arknights. I've grown fond of it, and it makes me want to share it with others. I am, at least for now. Hey, can you come closer? Closer, please. I have a question for you. Did you travel here alone?
Uh, my friends went to the other dreamscapes. Oh, I see. I'm not sure whether you realize it or not. I took you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because... Well... Someone's been following you. Don't turn around. I'm certain that you're his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. Mm, I so he wa he was she was yours, looking. My instincts told me he wasn't. He's about five feet, eleven inches tall, give or take. Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well trained. He walks in long strides, but his steps are light and barely audible. That way of walking doesn't leave footprints. He looks like a skilled fighter. The covert kind. He has large palms. Oh my god, it's Sampo. And nimble. I reckon he has experience this with knives, like a short sword or dagger. Son Do you know of a like that? God jacket, damn it. Emerald eyes. Dark blue hair. Ah, he's coming our way. Hey, well, if it isn't my most loyal customer. The Trailblazer Girl. It's been such a long time, old friend. God damn it, Sampo. What a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. Sampo? Yes, it's none other than your old friend, Sampo. I expected him to say to his last name. Me? <laughs> you know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You help your LO6 open up to the outside. Um, this gentleman is? Oh, Miss March, don't you remember <laughs> me? After all the favors I did for you all in Bellabog? Um, uh, are you sure March doesn't look like this? Performer from the Iris family. Oh, no wonder. I was just thinking, there's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. You'd be surprised. It's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sempo, and I'm an old pal of hers. Ah. Nice to meet you, too. Seems like we're getting on the same wavelength now. I'm trying to be nice Mr. in front of Samuel, Firefly. What's the purpose of your visit to Penacony? My purpose? <laughs> You're funny. What else can I do in Penacony? Well, I just hang around, daydream, and do the things that anyone on vacation would do. Speaking of which... Old pal, since fate brings us here, I'm obliged to give you a tour of this area. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penacony well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups, I think I can do much better. <sighs> entertainment for grown-ups? Looks like my analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow oh my to god. Me. Let me give you Please a taste of the don't, world. Sampo. Well, uh, Mr. Sampo. Fuck he is. Anything bothering you, Miss Firefly? No, things are bothering me. Don't worry. This isn't going to involve anything illegal. I don't think that's what she was going to ask, but... Ah, God damn it, Sampo. Ah. The cash spewer? I can't tell when the leaf fall. Hmm. 
Uh, it takes a long time to reach the other side on foot. How about we just bounce over there using the pinball machine? Pinball machine? She's not fully acclimated to the dreamscape yet. This could get dangerous. I don't know if crash landed here. Miss Firefly, we're in a beautiful dreamland crafted by the family. How could it be dangerous? This is the perfect place to have some thrills. Come on, pal. Show her what you're made of. Yeah, sure. This is this this is nothing. Oh dear. What have I gotten myself into? Click to select the plate, expend the energy to activate the plate, and close energy to regain energy. What the fuck? When the plate is activated, you can set its rotation direction. You cannot activate any more plates when you do not have enough energy. Create a short directory that connects all pinball machines, or that connects the pinball machines on both sides by activating, closing, or rotating. When the track directory is completed, you can launch the pinball to reach the destination. Oh. Yeah, that was easy. Oh, I that's as much enemy energy as I had. Well, Aya seems fine, though. So. Is this the lower level of the commercial district? Bingo! Our destination is right there. Peppy Papeshi Salon. <laughs> This is no ordinary salon. The only guests allowed to enter are the Papeshi people, or those with VIP cards. But then again, nothing is too difficult for Sempo. It's working time, hon. Oh no. Here we are again, pal! You. you here to relax? Right! I have two friends here who want to come with me. Any seats left inside? Mm. How many of you? Three. Show me your VIP card. No problem. Here it is. I'm talking about your friends. I've already seen yours. Um, well... How can my friends have VIP cards when they've only just arrived? <laughs> can you make an exception and let them in? I'll provide my VIP card as guarantee that they won't cause any trouble. Okay? No, I can't break the rules. Please go home if you don't have the card. Well, seems like we can't go in. Just stay cool. Let me think of something. <gasps> Got it. Uh oh. Okay, so we aren't going in anymore. But could you help me pick up something I left inside? The moment of betrayal, the cloud of doubt, and everlasting hatred. Just mention the clown's items to Miss Thunderbolt. She'll understand what I mean. Just a few intense emotions. As far as how we'll use them, you just wait and see. Sure thing. I'll deliver your message to her. Please wait here. <clears throat> Here's the items you asked for. Miss Thunderbolt said these alone wouldn't be enough. She wanted you to have these broken dreams. She said do with them as you see fit. Miss Thunderbolt is such a thoughtful person. Thank you so much. Now, we're only short of one item, which we might be able to find in an arcade machine. Coincidentally, there's one at the salon entrance. 
Let's get moving. I want to show you something fun. I, I I have to keep playing until he tells me what the fuck is going on. Moment of truth. Cloud of doubt. Everlasting hatred. Broken dreams. I am so confused. Is that a TV? Will of preservation. God fuck I'm always pressing that button. Mistaken, Miss Firefly. This is an arcade. This fine machine has a sense of aesthetics worthy of the dreamscape. It's nothing like the techie junk you see around Punk Lord. Hey, how about you try touching it and see what happens? Couldn't hurt, I guess. Well, I might be totally off base here, but. I think there's something fishy with this TV, but it's fine if you want to give it a shot. I trust your judgment. Some guy turning your gaze toward you, or perhaps more precisely, the three of them, including the guy with the trembling oversized nose and sunglasses on the screen. You know, it's time to make a choice. Do so you want to take the chance to touch the television and see what intriguing events might unfold? Seems like I'm left with no other options. <laughs> You reach out to touch it. Oh dear. Wait, what? Why did you turn into this thing? Uh, I think I've been sucked into the TV. Definitely want to say that, so somehow you transform into a certain cartoon character. Your name is Hanu, a candid and taciturn figure, a messenger of justice and leader of the werewolves versed in conventional and unconventional arms from Penacani's famous long-form cartoon Clocky. You suddenly protect the piece of Dreamville. According to your character traits, you can only make a cool grunting noise as a response right now. Not out of grunt, that sounds cool. You make an extremely cool grunt, man. Really, it was so cool. <laughs> God damn it. You look so cool. You got swag now, pal. So, how did she turn into that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. you don't get it, do you? Well, she was sucked into the TV just now and swapped bodies with Hanu. Hold on, let me take a closer look. <gasps> look! The title of this game is Hanu's Adventure. According to the plot synopsis, you have been shrunken down by one of Stone's devices. You will embark on an epic adventure to rescue Dreamville with your miniature body. Now, if you want to return to your normal size, you have to do everything that Hanu has done in the cartoon series. Or, you can just touch this TV. <laughs> Make a cool grunting noise. Have you thought about why you could ever change back if you could keep being this cool? God damn it. Ooh, here it says, enter the door to start your adventure. You have to climb inside from there to start your challenge, pal. We'll cheer you on. <laughs> of course we will. Good luck. Oh dear god. Design an arcade game in the dreamscape of able to let the guests play the cartoon character Hanu through the transformed device and experience a miraculous adventure in the corner of the dreamscape. In the story of the adventure, he was made smaller. I experienced a grand adventure with a small money to take back the treasure Boss Stone took from the town. 
pair of wolf-like sharp eyes are hidden under Hanu's sunglasses. Use the button to activate his Hanu vision. Observe the tools that can be utilized and try to find the hidden treasure. Oh my god. Still can't jump. This is so interesting and odd at the same time. You let out a grunt, that sounds cool. You let out a cool oomph. It's so cool that the birdie tilts its head at you. <laughs> Can't talk at all, forget it. Thank you, I'm leaving. Using the rockets built by the bird, Hanu can quickly shift between the ends of different rockets to reach places otherwise inaccessible. Huh. Where does this one go? Ah. going on you find yourself at the entrance to the maze I don't think I finished in there yeah I'm not quite done I'm all right. I'm glad to hear that. Look at that. You did great. This is the proverbial moment of freedom. You have earned it. 
Now that we've got everything we need, we just need to go into a dream. <gasps> just follow me. <laughs> You're about to experience the real fun. Sounds good. How the hell do I get up there? You've had quite a bit to drink. All right, I guess. Well, become part of the family. Didn't exactly go the right direction, I see. Miss Firefly. That is where the good stuff is. Welcome to Dreamscape Sales Store. Dr. M at your service. Trailblazer of the Astral Express. Here we are again. Huh? So you've got two friends with you. Bless you, my fine people. Hello, Edward. I'd like my friends to try something fun, if you know what I mean. Well, be my guest. <laughs> Dr. Edward welcomes anyone who's ready for some excitement. How about we use your dreamscape, sir? A superb idea, sir. Let's do it! The one from last night would be perfect! Um, what's going on? I have no idea. Well, this is a service we offer to our long-time customers. You can submit dreams you've recently had to me. With relevant emotion prototypes, I'll be able to turn them into customized dream bubbles that can be experienced repeatedly. Any dreams we want? Exactly! Looks like you've got the picture. You probably woken up from a dream one time and wished you could just go back to dreaming it, right? A dream I wished I could have continued after waking up. Miss Firefly, I admire your eagerness, but please be patient. Allow me to use my dream as a demonstration. I trust you have prepared all the necessary materials. Please, hand them out. Here you go. Your donation is appreciated. The retrieval is complete. Calibrate the memoria and generate the dream bubble. It's ready. Please, close your eyes and rest your forehead against the dream. Jump on in, friend. I wish you a pleasant time. I am scared, because it is Sampo. Is this the clinic in the Bellabog underworld? Why is it empty? I didn't, uh, where is everyone? This is a surprise that will be revealed later. You have to remember, in a dream, anything is possible, possible. God damn it, Sampo. Oh, no need to be hasty now. You should take a moment to get used to the feeling of being... Oh, Sampo, what are you doing in with my ears? Stop that. It, it, it feels so weird to have him, like, bouncing back and forth between my ears. Is 
Is this another note? Become the garbage kings through the trash bags have long been brought. No. What do you mean well, by no this? Idea. I didn't come here when I had this dream. Stop nitpicking the details. If you ask me, I'd say you should take a look outside, but don't get frightened by what you say. I'm scared. Oh my god. What, what is the happening? fuck? Why are the Christians? I wonder if this is the VAs actually saying this or they just flip their stuff around. I think that's what she means. I haven't agreed to anything. Dr. Edward said he didn't have time to make any alternative storylines. Just accept it. Never. Help the trash cans with their troubles and collect three proofs of trust. I'm confused. Me too. Courage can courageous can. Automatic sensory just can't sense trash can. <laughs> I want out. Trash immediates. Ugaha. Gasa. Muro. Tom. Kutsu. Baram. What? 
the fuck? You've passed the trial? Great. Now get me out of here. Just just a little something. If nothing else. Here we go. This has ended. The world is once again peaceful, and the trash can who has endured undeserved ordeals has returned to its slumber. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know how to feel about this quest line. I finally collected three proofs of trust. Let's go back and deliver them. Oh, so how was it going to say Paul? He said, Bang. Yeah, a savage. Thank God. Oh my god, there's more trash cans. Please, why? Is this where the final battle will take place? Not sure how I feel about this. Such a tragic oh. scene. At least the robot's still a robot, and not a trash can. Didn't they say the Garbage King would wait for me here? Have I been set up? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Hey, wait! What kind of nonsense is this? I I I don't know. Oh hi Misa. Damn, I'm still streaming? Yes. Did you forget that it was supposed to be a 24-hour stream? 
I only did uh what? This is only a part two because uh looking forward to seeing how our friend was going to overthrow the garbage king. Be it, this is only a part two because I actually was feeling rather awful uh, for the after the first five hours. My leg was in pain. I was tired, and I was actually spacing out uh, while playing a game. So I had to stop for uh, and get some sleep. So that's what I did. I got some sleep. Came back. And I am still streaming. And I plan to keep streaming until that timer... ...hits zero. However, I, I do have to stop the stream before the timer for YouTube hits 12. So, technically soon I have to stop streaming and then start it back up again. Or, uh, I stop streaming, uh, and let myself get some sleep then start it up again the next day. Which is also a possibility. Which I might do because it's a it's probably a better option. You're the real garbage king. What a huge pity. Such a meaningful dream came to an abrupt halt because of Miss Firefly. I was looking forward to seeing your face when the truth dawned on you. Is this weird dream trying to hand out some hot kidding meeting? No, more like reveal. Don't you want to find out the truth behind the dream? Don't let all that pretty scenery in the dream world distract you from your goal. As soon as you get complacent, you lose sight of the truth. Don't you think this dream bubble looks really similar to modern day Penacone? A small stage is crowded with a bunch of scheming people. None of them want to be exposed under the spotlight, so they all push you to the front. You're not at home anymore, kid. You've wandered into the depths of the unknown. Let me put it to you straight. Don't let yourself get enticed by that glowing light. I'm going to be very disappointed if you get bamboozled by the likes of them. What in the dream world are you talking about? Seems like you really do have no clue. Turn around and take a look. Is that girl still here? She claims to be a local, but doesn't know how this world works. All she's got is street smarts. Who exactly is she? You don't find her the least bit suspicious? Sampo, I find you, you suspicious. And confront her if you have any questions. Don't let her off scot-free. <laughs> See you around, pal. Don't let me down. What did Sampo mean? Is Firefly hiding something? I must find her and demand an explanation from her. She shouldn't be too far off. The girl turns her body sideways, gazing into the distance, as if evading her gaze. After a momentary pause, she finally turns back and simply speaks. I'm sorry.
You feel guilty, don't you? Yes, there are things I'm hiding from you. I'm not a local. And there's a reason why the Bloodhound family is after me. I also have my own purpose for joining you on your journey. But still, I appreciate your help. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And, and my admiration for the Nameless is also genuine. You guys have been to a lot of worlds, met people from all walks of life, and experienced all sorts of things. Every day is a new beginning for you guys. You can board it too. Can I bring you one more place? It isn't another tourist attraction. It's my very own secret base. And I'll do my best to tell you everything I know when we get there. Sure. Thanks. Uh, one great, two good. Uh, there's no bad rating? Two. Wasn't great, but it was good. It was interesting. Stop reading the alien industry. Happens if I read it. So read everything you find. Got it. Apparently, I only can see him. I think I'm seeing things. Can you really see me? Tick tock! Wonderful! This is awesome! There's still hope for Misha! Misha? Oops, I, I haven't introduced myself. My name is Cloppy. Uh, I, I know I'm who you are. Please stop. Metacony. My friends and I keep the peace in this small town. They are Hanu, Mr. Soda, Origami Bird, Hamster Ball Knight. And Misha! Misha's in trouble! Tick tock! Help! Help! I must be losing my mind. A clock that talks? A clocky? Do you mean you saw a cartoon character that doesn't exist in real life? Yes. Can't you see him? Um, where is he? I, I can't see him. Tick tock! I guess I'm only visible to those with the innocence, kindness, and honesty of a child. Like this kid here, clad in gray! You said you weren't innocent, kind, or honest. Just how so? Tick tock! Tick tock! My great friend, since you can see me, then you must be able to help me! My friend, Misha, is in trouble! I'm begging you to help him before it's too late. So someone's life is in danger. Is it really that bad? Well, are you gonna help this um clocky that only you can see? <laughs> I know I sound insane too. I don't think you're lying. As anything can happen in a dream. We can just head to the place I mentioned later. Tick tock, tick tock. Hurry up and follow me, great friend! Misha's in trouble! He's over there! Let me bring you to him! The name of Misha rings a bell to me. Anyway, I remember the name. better check out what's going on. Come on! Jump, jump! How do you not remember? Hey, 
There's a crowd over there. Oh. Looks like something that everyone, please calm down. It's Akron. Everyone, please stay calm. You broke the rules, and now you're gonna have to pay the price. Yeah. Punisher, boss. <sighs> How did it come to this? How come they are all people I know? What do you mean by all? See? I wasn't lying! Misha really is in trouble! TikTok! I'm begging you, my brave friend! Begging you! Please help Misha! What should I do to help? Wait, are you talking to Clocky? Well, it does look like things are getting out of control. Tick tock! Tick tock! It's all Stone's fault that things have turned out this uh. way! Of all the lowlifes in Dreamville! Stone's the worst! He's a greedy man who wants to drive everyone out of Dreamville so that he can have all the precious stones to himself! He instructed his underlings to wreak havoc in the dreamscape, taking away everyone's positive emotions! Since then, the town has been filled with anxiety and disputes. We're no longer a family! As the guardian of Dreamville, I can't just sit back and do nothing. By using the power of clockwork, I can direct the flow of positive emotions in the dreamscape back into people's hearts. My great friend, I require your assistance. I also, you're a new visitor to this world, which means we have the ele Are you sure about oh, this? Just demonstrating how it works. Tick tock. Now, our minds have merged into all we have to do is use clockwork on that cranky gangster boss and inject. Please bear in mind that you should never use clockwork with malicious intent. Oh dear. Mind your own business, lass. I have to let that lady there know she's messed with the wrong person. Here comes the clockwork. Oh my god, it's a minigame. Tune this person's emotional state. Make your confirmation here. I can just choose any of these? There, now, now you're calm. Hey. Well, what got into me just now? Hey, he seems normal now. That's wonderful. You did it! I saw a dial and got it moving. Great! It means you've mastered the art of clockwork. Oh, was I about to get into a fight with that lady? Was I crazy? What's wrong with the boss? What's wrong with the boss? Hey, hey, may I ask you a question? Were you the one who made me simmer down earlier? I, I wasn't being myself. It's the least I can do. Ooh, thanks for doing that. If we laid a finger on our guests just now, we would have faced severe punishment from the Bloodhound family. I'm so sorry for stirring up all this trouble. Alas, why did I get so worked up all of a sudden? It's, uh, it's, it's baffling. Oh, my great friend! You have to tell him that Stone is behind this. It's Boss's Stone's doing, can you believe it? Stone? Uh, I, I'm not sure I get what you mean. Uh, anyway, Me neither. And I owe everyone a proper apology. Hey, gang, gang, uh, line up and say sorry to our honored guests, huh? Uh, um, sure. Yeah. Oh, ready? Go! Uh, 
Can we have some privacy, please? You're the boss. The gang. Let's give our VIP some space, eh? We meet again. Are you the one who helped settle everything down here? Misha, are you acquainted with this great friend of mine? She's an esteemed guest whom I befriended recently. I told you about her before. Does it ring a bell? Oh my god, I'm not the only one that's crazy. Anyway, thanks a lot. If you hadn't gotten here in time, whew, I would have been in a real mess. <sighs> Thank you. I'm surprised we get to see each other again so soon. It's the, I'm, the, I'm About surprised all the too. Commotion just now. I heard a bunch of masked fools were causing a ruckus on. Am the I streets. still in a dream? I within a dream? Through, what is going on? Misunderstandings along the way. Anyway, I owe you another one. Is this lady your friend too? Well, we've only met each other once before, but she is a kind soul for helping me at the hotel. It's my pleasure to meet you, beautiful lady. B beautiful lady? By the way, what did you do to that man earlier? It was like someone took him on an emotional roller coaster. I was wondering about that too. What happened back there exactly? <laughs> Talk therapy. <laughs> uh, Clocky taught me clockwork. That's right. It was me, Clocky. Of course, you played a big part too. Without you doing the clockwork. Dreamville would have been in some real trouble. Clocky? Yes, that cartoon character. I think he's shown up in reality, but I mean in the dreamscape. I don't really know how a cartoon character could show up around here, but according to our friend here, only honest people with childlike innocence can see him. <sighs> it seems like I'm too old to qualify for that. If Clocky really exists, I can explain a a lot of things. Huh. Can you see me too? I can feel the presence of something inexplicable next to you. But it's a shame that I can't communicate with him like you can. We can both perceive these extraordinary things in the dream, probably due to our ability to react to memoria. But you're more attuned to it than I am. I thought your heightened perception was caused by something the elegant memo keeper might have left in your mind. Now it seems to me there are many more special beings like her in this dream. Uh, who? Shortly after we parted ways, I felt someone's spying eyes on me. I looked in the mirror and spotted a lady wearing a black veil. We had a deep conversation, but I won't bore you with the details. It's a shame that I forgot to ask her for her name. Why? I only know why the does it change to red? Garden of Recollection. <gasps> Is that the group that serves the Eon of Remembrance? Exactly. They traverse freely between different worlds as mimetic entities and are only visible to certain people. Doesn't she sound very much like that Clocky you saw? After all, it is a grand event held by the family. I'm so confused. I guess this could be a lot longer than we imagined. Once again, thank you for being kind to me. I wish you a great time in the dream, and I shall not interrupt your date. No, we're not on a date. Hey, close enough the one. <laughs> She's gone. Well, shall we? I'll let you get back to your beeswax. Thanks, my great friend. I really appreciate your help. The Nameless are indeed a bunch of talented people. May our paths cross again. May our paths cross again. Tick tock. Please come with me. I hope that you won't be distracted Emo tooting. by friend again. Oh, that's such a great name for it. Wow.
Love that. Uh, I don't, I really don't know how to feel about it being called emo tuning. Uh, Oh, I didn't even have to do a character's side story to get them into the express. Finally. Follow her to the secret spot. Sorry. I'm afraid we need to take the pinball machine to reach this place. Um, you go first. I'll be right behind you. Sure. Oh, I have to get up there. Her secret stronghold is a cafe? Oh no, this was a mistake. Malfunctioning, interacting with them allows you enter emo scheme and repair these poor guys. Building blocks are interactable, you can either drag or move them to or click to rotate. Use the block to help clock complete back click gears. So I need to get here. Oh. Oh, there we go. That's how it works. It's perspective based. Looks mighty fine. No, uh, it isn't. This is. What a beautiful manhole cover. Yes, it's right inside. People are watching it us. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Anything can happen in a dream. And there are lots of people falling from the sky every day. The pedestrians aren't going to be faced by anything. Let me show you how to do it. It's going to be very dark at first, so you'll have to stay close to me. Sure. Huh? Hey, let me 
ask you something. Is following girls around like a lost puppy your way of getting their attention? You've been doing this for nearly half a system hour. To be more precise, it's been 45 minutes. Time sure flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? Ugh, spare me. Beautiful eyes, though. Are you from Sigonia? Need another hint? I'm an Avgen. My eyes might not be as pretty as yours, but there's no problem with my vision. You Sigonians are notorious throughout the entire universe. Liars, thieves, social manipulators, wolves in sheep's clothing. You're really living up to the reputation. I say you belong to the space under the manhole cover. Not in a dream. There's one right over there. Off you go. I'll pass. The gloomy shade of a place like that just wouldn't go with my vibe. Dreamville is frivolous, vain, and flashy. And that suits me just fine. Also, it never rains here. My outfit is too expensive to be exposed to the elements. Cut it out and go home, you slick talker. We are fools, but we aren't stupid. We aren't interested in playing the friend game with the lapdogs of the IPC. <laughs> really? You've never been friends with anyone from the IPC? Do you think I know nothing about the history of Pinnacle? Don't drag me into your banal office politics! Fool, you've been left with no choice since the moment you accepted the invitation to be here. You better pick a side while you have the chance. Or else you'll end up losing everything. You sound very sure of yourself. Looks like you've already convinced that chicken wing boy from the family. How did you do it, little peacock? Did you strip yourself naked, apologize to him on your knees, and promise that the IPC would never harm Penacone? Friends, oh please. You guys only treat others as your bargaining chips. Oh, what's wrong with chips? In any gamble, the only players that will never be on the losing side are the chips. My friends from the Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express are all smart enough to understand that. But the smarter ones wouldn't have joined the game in the first place. See? I'm smarter. Listen, little peacock. You've been invited by the tavern before, too. If you want the masked fools to get on board, you need to figure out what it is the laughter wants. Here's a hint for you. Since you can't convince anyone, why don't you find a rock to be friends with? At least a rock won't be able to refute your arguments. <laughs> so long! Thanks. I'll keep your advice in mind. <sighs> what a pain in the neck. I guess I'll have to meet with the family again. We're in 11 hours. We gotta stop soon. not to get caught. Don't worry. This place isn't dangerous. Just um think of this as the border of Golden Hour. 
The family is still building and remodeling the dreamscape beyond here. My secret stronghold is in this area. Let's sneak inside. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's a construction site ahead. Unauthorized personnel are not allowed in. Drat! We're caught right away. Fine, I'll head back. Let me try. Could you uh, please make an exception? We're not gonna cause any trouble. Uh, not a chance. Our boss made it clear that only the dream weavers are allowed here. He won't budge. We know Gallagher. Who? Eh, never heard of him. I wouldn't let you in even if the dream master were here. None of your tricks are going to work. Please do yourself and me a favor and go home. <sighs> Seems like you won't give in. Mm. Let me think of another way. Perhaps Clocky's clockwork trick can come in handy. <sighs> this doesn't count as malicious intent, right? Does it in it though? That, that, that this doesn't seem like a good. None of your tricks are going to work. Need to provoke him a bit. How many times do I have to repeat myself? Unauthorized personnel are not allowed at the construction site. Ugh! Do you two really want to stay here and test my patience? Oh, you're going to regret it. Don't try talking back to me. I deal with punks like you all the time. You fear for nothing just because you're young and energetic. You idle away your time every day, going around, stirring up trouble. You contribute nothing to society. Let me help you spoiled brats learn the hard way. Go, Sweet Dreams Troop! Teach them a lesson! I hate that I did that. Wow. Why was that even an option? Everything is worth those stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing! Time for a shot. I can't believe I've lost! Uh, is this... Is this the power of youth? If, if I'd had that power back then, wh would we have ended up differently, Mia? Huh. All right. Uh, you can go in. As the winner, you, you deserve it. Seems like he's taking this winning and losing thing a little too seriously. <laughs> well, at least we finally get to go through. Never imagined that's how we'd end up getting past the guard. <laughs> that trick of Clocky's really is amazing. <laughs> the path ends here. For the rest of the way, we need to borrow the Dreamweaver's tools. 
What happens next is going to blow your mind. So after we do this, we're going to stop <laughs> for tonight. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I I I get it. Different points in space are linked together? Yeah. Now we can go to the other side. This is how the Nightingale family repairs the dreamscape. Fascinating, isn't it? Fascinating is a word for it. Alright, I'm gonna grab all my rewards, then we're going to get ready to stop streaming, and I will set up another stream for tomorrow. So yeah, I I do appreciate everyone who decided to come in for this part of the stream. Again, we still have other things that we need to do, and we're going to be starting them tomorrow. Because I need to make sure I get some rest in, and I'm not just going to leave the stream open because that would uh, run the risk of... Uh, it going over 12 hours so the video would be lost on YouTube. Uh, other than that, we do have more things planned. There are still 10 minutes or 10 hours and 12 minutes left on the clock. And we still haven't hit our first goal. So. If, if we get there, then we have more uh, games that we can play. Uh, but other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow. We'll find someone to raid before we go as well. But I will keep the 10, 10 hour 12 minutes. Uh, I, I will set it up. There we go. So, hope to see you guys in the morning tomorrow. And, yeah, thanks to everyone for joining. And hope to see you then.